Hey everyone, welcome to another night of Old Canadian Gamer on the Old Canadian Gamer channel. Welcome, welcome, another Minecraft night here, and we're going to get into a uh, continuation of building the airport. Um, hopefully uh, you guys can come in, join me tonight, have a little fun, and uh, we will, uh, you know, just continue on to the build process and uh have a little fun tonight so let's get right into it and hopefully everyone is having a you know a good week things are going well and uh you know that's the way it is oh that doesn't look good does it what is going on there oh okay did we do center left? No. Yeah. Okay. So, um, last week, uh, we were building the, uh, start to the, um, what would you say? Start to the, uh, Canada place, uh, or Canada complex whatever you want to call it. And, um, we were, um, just one second here. I'm going to do something. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll do it later. That's another time. Um, we working, we're working on the um, Canada Complex or Canada Place, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so uh, this week we will actually work on the tarmac. Got to put some uh, um, got to put some uh, what do you want to call it? God, I can't even think already. Um, wow. This is not working tonight. There we go. That is going to drive me nuts. So, I need to fix that. So, bear with me one second. That's going to drive me nuts. I just want to move that down. Just like that. All right. Close. Lock it. There we go. Now, when I go back here and go, yeah, that's good. That's much better. Okay. So, um, what we're going to work on tonight, I have been, uh, stockpiling some light gray concrete powder which will be the base of the tarmac or the concrete on the tarmac we'll want to start doing that uh, and get that filled in tonight um also i want to start making uh two guard shacks but the concrete kind of needs to be put in place first get your guys's um um, opinion on the um, get your guys's opinion on the uh, building of the tarmac and uh, stuff like that so um, we have again with us tonight uh, Master Tony which hopefully will be a regular on with us welcome Tony how are you doing tonight? Hi, everybody. Good yourself. Everybody's nobody at this point, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I can't even talk tonight. <laughs> Jesus. It's ridiculous. Well, can they at least hear you tonight? What? Can they at least hear you tonight? I know. Can you hear me? Well, you're on Discord, so. Yeah. I, I see the mic is, is moving on the uh, OBS, so I would suspect that it's working. Yeah, they can hear you. Yeah. 
So I just checked it. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, because there's no way for me to check it, but that's it. Um, we still have the 30 second delay. I think that it is, but that's just part of the game. So, um, I have done some progress this week, uh, just to let you know, and that's what's probably going to happen going forward. Uh, you know, with doing one, one a week streams, it might be a little harder to, um, you know, uh, get get things uh done uh, a lot more proficient so there may be some progress during the week but i'm going to leave the big stuff to our stream here on friday night and, and be able to get you guys involved get you guys' opinion uh on some stuff and see what you think and um yeah so let's go upstairs um i think if i remember correctly last week uh we did finish this but i have made changes since then i have done the walls the ceiling and the lighting so on the walls i put uh white terracotta on the ceiling is light gray concrete and we have um uh sea lanterns and iron um trap doors put over top and just to diffuse it a little bit um and uh yeah and then outside here we put all concrete all the way to the road we had gray terracotta with lighting which we will actually um gotta come up with some ideas in the future of what we'll do for the lighting um and uh got an entrance put in i brought my dog over um because uh let's go for a little flight here first oh i may have to check my um chunks so over here you guys remember we had a um at a uh, building here, I uh, take have taken, excuse me, I've taken that away. Uh, it no longer exists. Uh, let me change something here because I don't think uh, video. I have this set up to what I want. No, no, that's yeah. No wonder it was at eight chunks. That doesn't really do it. So now, yeah, I can hear my. <laughs> my gpu and pc speed up a little bit because now i went from 28 to 24. um yeah maybe that's a little bit too much mm, i don't know uh full screen is off yeah full screen's off um yeah so 24 chunks 20 chunks or 16 chunks what do you think tony i go for your 24. all right let's go 24. Okay, and 160 FPS, because that's I got a 65 thing. And uh, through, uh, how would you say it? Through an accident and also Master Tony uh, clarifying it, if I hit my semicolon, I turn off ray tracing. So... I remember last week we were talking about issues with lighting in caves and the nether. Well, turning it off, turning it on will enable me to see now, hopefully, um, oh, one fell from a high place. Uh, we'll hopefully uh, be able to see in caves and in the nether a lot better. So, all right, now, um, also, I did make uh, my little secret entrance to my, uh, I hate doing that, um, to my, what we'll call uh, my XP farm, or I guess you call it an XP farm. Uh, I don't know what you want to call it, but it enabled me to, uh, you know, if I stay here long enough, I can gain uh, XP experience for my tools and so forth. But I won't do that because we found another 
um, little item that we can use uh, to speed that up even faster. But I am going at this point, going to stop right here. Uh, let me see here. Let's go up here a little bit higher. And what is that number? All right. We, okay. So just, uh, let's move over here a little bit more so we can actually see. Let's uh, put that view right there. I'm going to hit stop. Going to quit. And I wanted to show you guys where I started in this world and what it looked like when I started this world. So I'm going back to uh, a single player world that I've created and uh, I'm loading this up and we will see how much work I have done. So we are pretty much, we need to go up here. This is pretty much the location I would say pretty much the location. Let's just go up on this tree here. Can I get up on the tree? Yes, I can. Um, wait now, I should be in, oh, there we go. I got this one in creative mode, but you see the two buildings, or buildings, mountains here. Well, where's the runway? Where's the, um, Where's the uh, tarmac? I actually took all this out and we'll go over to where Canada Place is and to the end of the runway, follow this river. I'm in creative mode now. In the other one, I'm in survival mode. And uh, this is creative, so I can actually move around and so forth. As you see, I just want to clarify that like the other one is done completely in survival. Yep. We don't even have the ability to switch over into creative. This is a completely separate world. Exactly. Just so exactly. if anybody's thinking that you're just using commands and stuff like that, that's not the case. Nope, that is not the case. I've completely changed to a new world that is the same world or excuse me, the same seed, but um, in a in a different in a different uh, uh, um, different world, I guess that's the word I'm looking for. But, so the runway goes all the way from up there on that hill where I got my pointer showing, all the way down through here. So I covered all this up and I went down to the end of this um, area right here. So this is where the runway ends roughly across here. So, and then all this stuff over here, and I'll give you a little, little points. You see those pumpkins down there? You see this, um, this little uh, peninsula or whatever you want to call it, this outstanding um, stone. And we will go this way. For points of interest, we will go this way. And you see that funny looking uh, thing in the sky there? Um, that's uh, alongside. So all this in here was all taken out when I did uh, the mining or uh, whatever you want to call it, mining and so forth, um, to get what we have in the in the same world, but on the other uh, platform or other world, I guess, I don't know. But as you can see there, this is the entrance all the way down there where the water is. That's the entrance to Canada Place. So I will now quit from here. So this is a world that I've created in creative. Now I'm going to go to our server. I'll join the server. And this one, this one we're going into now, I can't use creative because it's survival. There's no way of switching over. As you've seen, I 
change the world. So now, this is the same location. There's the mountains. And... Over here is this little point of... Oh, shoot. I missed it. Oh, well. Uh, this little point of um, stone that I was showing you. We'll go down here. This is the end of the runway. Remember where I showed you the pumpkins? There's the pumpkins. All right. There's the pumpkins. There's the funny uh, stone placement within the actual map. And there is where uh, Canada Place is. And we have built this in to that location which I had. So that's the progress that we've done. Uh, 400 blocks for the main runway, 300 blocks for the taxiway, and a 200 block square tarmac, which tonight we'll work on um, to fill in um, with uh, concrete. So I hope you all can bear with me as we do that on stream tonight. And also, this is uh, one of the locations where I'm putting a guardhouse. We'll plan on putting a guardhouse in here. Hopefully, we'll get it to it tonight. We'll see how much uh, how much we can get done with the tarmac. We won't do it all, but we'll definitely get it done. And then I'll probably, more than likely, um, uh, more than likely finish it next week off stream to not bore you guys. But... So, I have uh, plans on building a hangar for my tarmac. Not just one, but there may be two, three. I don't know how many actually we're going to build. But I want to have the... Okay, so I guess I can show a picture of that, I guess. Let's see here. Yes, there we go. I wonder if it comes up. Yeah, it does come up. Okay. So, you guys can see this. I will zoom in. This is the hangar that I'm planning on uh, replicating in the game. Excuse me. And I, I don't know the dimensions. There's no tutorial, anything of that sort. So, I plan on... Uh, as you would call it, freehanding it and building this in um, as one or maybe uh, a number of these uh, hangers to uh, hold a uh, number of planes that I, I hope or will be able to make. And uh, so that's the, the, the look, um, I guess, if I... Um, Try to... No, that's as far as I can zoom in. So, you know, it's like a brick type thing. Or type wall structure with brown type uh, hangar doors and so forth. So I want to keep the brown theme or the brownish theme or the red, red brick theme, excuse me, uh, of this uh, in, the, um, in the design. So, uh, with that... I have, um, oh, shoot, shoot, oh, geez, nobody sleeps around here, God. You pause your game standing in the middle again. Yep, I did. I don't deny that. I do it every you time. You haven't died yet. Oh, I have not died yet. So, um, with that, as I was uh, interrupted there, um, 
Ooh, there must be a witch under here somewhere. Okay, so as for that, now I have placed oh, a number of stone types, and I will at this point take out the ones that I don't think will work for that uh, image, which is this one again. Uh, let me see here. Can we zoom? Uh, reset to get this image uh so the color sort of in that time frame or that time of uh, that type i know for sure that this stuff does not work and this is um this is brick block and brick fence and uh let's say they are in this texture pack ugly so they won't be used um but then um these two they're not red or reddish color which i'm trying to look for but this polished uh um deep slate is too too polished if you want to use that word so i'm not going to use that because it just it, it just seems to be too much of a polished uh, uh, look to um, that building. Now, we have the cobble deep slate, which I think looks pretty good, but it's not brick-like. And then we have the um, two types of nether rack. We have the uh, red nether rack brick and brick... Um, fence and then we have the netherrack brick so for me to get that color i think i think the cobblestone doesn't work because it's it's not brick looking it's nice can I, what can i suggest something yeah go look at the deep slate tile deep slate I was tile. Talking about deep slate tile take the cobbled deep slate to a stone cutter and make the deep slate tile um, I can do that. I mean, I like your choices. I just, you might really like that. I, I really like it in the vanilla, so. Okay. Not to completely throw you off. I'm sorry. I know no. you're in the middle of your spiel, but. No, I'm not. It's not a spiel. It's a, it's a stream. So it's, what is going on? Oh, it just showing. Yeah. Okay. I got my, um, okay. So that's good. All right. Uh, I was worried about, not that they haven't been displayed, but. I've got my camera over my, um, all right, uh, bricks. So I put these ones in here and they will go there. Polish deep slate will go down here. Yeah, that's polished and that's there. Let's get rid of this stuff out of my hands string and we have some dirt still we're trying to remember where all my stuff that's grass this is dirt trying to remember where all my stuff is i'm still learning um my my self-design or whatever but um so um um okay so uh deep slate and what did you say cobble so i got some cobble. cobble deep slate and bring it over to the stone cutter stone cutter and put it in there and okay what do we get okay that's cobble deep slate uh, wait, no, we get polish. Don't want that. Deep slate like tiles. Tile. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I do one of those. And is that deep slate tile wall? Okay. Okay. And then I'll take my cobble, put my cobble back. All 
All right, let's go up and test this little design here. So I will say that the cobble won't won't be there because it doesn't really have that brick look. So these ones will go down to two and then we'll have a look at the one that uh, Master Tony is suggesting. So um, let's do this. I'll take these ones out. And I'll put them on this side. So we have red, black, red type thing. And then we put that here. Then we'll take the deep slate tile. It's not as shiny. I see that. It's not brick, though, but it's not shiny. Did you make a deep slate brick, if that's what you really would prefer? My thought with the tile is it tends to be smaller looking bricks. Deep it's slate, deep slate tile. Yep, deep slate yep. tile. I see what you're saying. I mean, you can oh, see... that doesn't look at all what I was expecting it to. Yeah, this, this one here has tile design to it. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised that... Uh... Okay, we've got to remember that I'm using real source um, texture pack here uh, for RTX, right? Um, and take... then in that okay. case, one more. <laughs> I would try the deep slate brick. Deep slate brick? This is what... Yeah. Oh, deep slate brick. Deep slate. Yeah, it's the same thing. They have deep slate tile, which is normally a smaller looking brick. It looks like the little tiles you see in kitchens all the time. And then they have deep slate brick, which is normally a bigger pattern. But I'm wondering what that would actually look like in your texture pack. The tile didn't look at all what I was expecting it to. Okay, hopefully I have some... I have to cook deep slate to get cobble, right? No. Uh, you put normal deep slate on the ground, and you hit it with your fortune. And that will give me cobble? And that's what I need okay. to make. Um, that's what I, I need to make. Um, cobble deep slate. Regular deep slate. Break it up. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's uh, put this down. All right. And use my fortune, you say? Yes. All right. I'm go over to here. And you want me to make deep slate bricks. Didn't I already do that? You made deep slate tile. Where did it? Where's my deep slate? Oh, where's over here? I thought I made that already. Oh, I polished deep slate. Okay. Duh. All right. Let's um, deep slate brick. Okay, I got a one deep slate brick, and we want deep slate brick walls. All right, and then I will... Where is my stuff? Double deep slate. All right, upstairs we go. All right, so, um, back out and try this. 
What are you up to tonight, Master Tony? What's your uh, agenda for the night of Minecraft? A couple of things under thought here. I'm thinking I might dig it to another villager area. Let's give oh. the announcements today and the reconsiderations for Oh yeah. lag. I was going to put them all together. I'm pretty sure my design actually doesn't cause lag. Mm -hmm. But there's really no harm and it saves me okay. from extra stairs. All right. So that, okay, so this one's gone. I can tell you right now, this one is gone because it does not show any brick stairs type style um i'm thinking if i build if i go and build this yes it's red right it has the red tones but i'm thinking that might be too much but it is red and black excuse me so my concern, I'm assuming you're talking about the one on the right hand side, just giving them a little bit of delay. No, um, no, I'm talking the one in the center. Oh yeah, yeah, I like the one in the center. I'd keep the one in the center for sure. But I'm thinking just kind of the accents, like instead of the white, maybe doing one of the other tiles or one of the other bricks. Um, just food for thought, obviously. Uh, the, the one on the right hand side for the accents to me my concern is it looks too cartoonish to be honest i like the one on the left hand side i think um this one it does look like real brick much bigger like big brick right which this one is the same thing but it's got some white undertones in it right mm -hmm. And the red one definitely meets the color scheme of the actual hanger in IRL. Um, this one, I think I will have to go with a no on that one. I like it. Maybe there might be some things can be used, but the only thing... Which, which one? Your delay is confusing me. So the... Um, um, let me see here. I wonder how much of a delay will I get with this? There you go there on Discord. Um, I don't know if it will cause a lot of slowness with me streaming that. Let me just check my, um... Check my, uh... No, I'm the one standing in the middle of the field. Um... Yeah, I don't better not... I better not do that on there. If you want, you can just have to wait 30 seconds. I apologize. I don't have control oh, I think over if that. you just use the name or use the left and the right... Well, the like right... The one you chopped down, is that the one you were saying you don't like? Yeah, or... the one I chopped down with the big... Big bricks. I like the big bricks but I think it's too dark. If I'm trying to go with the theme of, um, yeah. with, with the theme uh, of the um, picture, the red's the way to go. But I don't have to go that way, but I do like this. In regards to the um what do they call it which one was this one this is the uh deep slate bricks i do like that because it's got the big brick look on it it's got black and gray and white undertones in it and it's not so red i'm thinking if i'm going to make a big hanger out here and i'm talking a big hanger i mean like it's got to be 50 blocks easily so that would be you know, uh, uh, one fourth of the length from that pole to that pole. Somewhere's in here. I haven't decided where I'm going to actually uh, define that yet. But if I make that hanger, I mean, you're looking back here. Let me see how many, what we got here. If I stand at these blocks, I'm at, let's say, 
800. Right? I go back 20 blocks. Right? You can't tell whether that right one, which is the um, red, is red. Now I'm coming in close to it. Point. Right? Where the one on the left, you still have definition to it, even 20 blocks back. Right? You still can see the definition. So that's my choice in regards to um, the, the the blocks that I'm going to use for, um, for my uh, builds of my hangers that will look uh, like this. But it will be black instead of uh, red. And then I can actually still go across the top um with the um with the black or i could even go across the top with the red stone but like i said 20 blocks back you don't even know that it's brick it doesn't show up there is no uh, um definition to it so the the underlying thing is that this one here um is the best view to have some definition from a distance away so i'm going to uh use the um block that will be um doo -doo -doo. here we go uh nope i do have one other consideration for you as well where did that block That's go there it goes gonna really cement your decision here deep okay so this is okay then i'll just leave that one here then so that's a deep slate bricks. Okay, what do you want me to get now? No, no, just don't know. Um, just to kind of reinforce your decision. So the red netherrack brick, mm -hmm. the red one that you had. Yep. To get that, you need to grow uh, nether root. Yep, exactly. You need to harvest netherrack. You need to smelt the netherrack. Yep. And combine it with the. Yeah, the nether wart. Thank another you. wart. To that get... is a very, very tedious process. And exactly. trying to do that in mass. Yep. Exactly. Yes, it can be done. And if you wanted to do it, by all means, yes, we would do it. Yep. But when you compare that to the deep slate brick, which, which is... is as simple as dig a hole. Yep. You literally just have to go mining. You exactly. get diamonds while you mine. Yep. This is a win-win. Yep. Um, it's a substantially easier brick to acquire to, to acquire exactly oh. right so i'm i'm completely agreeing with your decision because of the fact it just makes our lives a lot easier yep yep and i mean you should never pick a, a build pattern based off of how easy it is to get the brick nope but this is survival right we do yep. have to consider we that. do have to consider that it's not so creative. i have at this point uh, um i'm gonna need four corners let's say i make three buildings uh it's gonna be you know whatever i'm gonna need probably you know a couple um maybe four double chests to build this i don't know we'll see but um yeah so that's what we're gonna do with that and so that decision is easily made so now what we're gonna do is i'm going to take uh shulkers but i take uh, let's say three shulkers and let's four shulkers and let's um let's start doing the uh at the tarmac let's get the tarmac done because i want to get to building a um guard shack in, in some manner tonight so Let's, uh, I wish there's, um, there is a, not a cheat, but a, uh, hotkey in Java. I wish we had. So basically you select an item, do shift and double click, and it would transfer all the stuff to your inventory. But we don't have that ability. We have to do shift and click for each one. So, so I can actually then... 
fill up these shelkers and uh, build our tarmac tonight. At least start it anyways, because uh, we can't uh, build any hangars, which I hope uh, we can start next week, um, possibly start next week uh, building our hangars and start getting some definition to the airport but we still have um, we still have runways to do and get those done but I want to get the um, get the uh, tarmac finished so we can actually if we want we can actually start working on um, start working on some hangars and getting some vehicles and planes and uh, you know office buildings and so forth I want to put some additional roads uh, to the um, uh, build uh, coming from a location that could be a future naval base that I was thinking about doing um, in a future um, process future long, long, few, away. long, long time away because this is not going to be a very short build at all um so uh hopefully we can uh get this built within you know a little while this is a bigger endeavor than i ever thought i would get or do i mean i've made some fairly big builds but nowhere as near this uh and size and um so Hopefully, we can uh, get some progress done on this. And this is all uh, concrete powder. And then you need uh, water, um, which I have a bucket here. And um, let me just dump this two in here because that's just out of the way. Um, then you need water once you uh, lay down your powder to make it concrete. So... Uh, let me okay reset my spawn point up we go and uh yeah let's uh get this uh tedious long project I forgot to take those down but okay so uh I also forgot to mention that when we did put uh this roadway into uh Canada place um, we did put concrete down and we also put uh, gutters in here with uh, water in it to uh, just kind of emulate that there is a uh... what are you guys doing doggies um, there's a drain on either side yep there's drain on both sides this side ends up going down into a gutter as you can see there this side actually goes to here into a gutter and then there's one here that goes underneath this part because in this part here i'm going to do a sort of uh um oval like this um and make a parking lot over there in that section so i gotta go downstairs because i want to make sure i have my uh, spawn point down there and actually we're gonna go to sleep but somebody else did it before I got there. All right. You can still set your spawn if that's your concern. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to do that. So, all right. So let's get this process started. I'm just wondering if I should just go row by row and just fill it up roll by row this is going to be a lot just basically start in this corner and go all the way to the other end as you see here these are posts that i was thinking about making they're the um polished deep slate i think i'm going to use the ones that um are over here the ones that we just talked about that will be part of the building I'm going to use these now as the corner post to the fences. And this will be our military fence. 
Um, we did a little modification last night um, to get this style because the style of iron bars from this pack did not look like a fence. I mean, these don't really look like a fence, but they're better looking than what we had before. And we modified um, the um, spider webs. Uh, so they kind of look like um, more like uh, razor wire. So um, hopefully uh, that will um, get us uh, a better look of what we're trying to get for a military base, um, razor wire, and uh, preventative uh, entry to the base. So, uh, shoot, this has got to come all out. Oh, why am I doing that? Because, let me just put those two in there. Let me just take this, do this, and put this back because I won't go that direction at this point. There we go. Grab this back, and here we go. Oh, wonderful. Bear with me, folks. Wasn't prepared I don't know how many it's going to take so I'm going to empty that and we are going to get rid of this because concrete needs to go on this line So, um, just to be aware, um, YouTube this week decided to add a little bit more, um, what do you want to call it? Restrictions. Restrictions, yes. Restrictions to, um, YouTubers, myself and others, and what they have done is they have restricted, which is kind of funny, not funny, but I guess they're trying to make it a PG environment, which I'm not sure that's possible, but they have um, added restrictions to all videos and streams where they are restricting the language in the streams and the videos they will demonetize which i'm not monetized at this point yet i need a thousand followers to be able to do that currently i'm only 120 thank you all very much for your your support um and your continue to support and uh, so forth uh but they decided that they are going to demonetize if there's any profanity spoken in the first 15 seconds of the actual video or excessive amount of profanity within the streams or in the videos. So, um, so just wanted to mention that, that uh, you probably won't um, hear much uh, more of that profanity for myself, if I do, it'll be a slip up. But uh, I'm trying to keep uh, keep all my videos because I've heard that people now are getting their videos that are actual streamers that I follow, saying that their videos are getting demonetized really quick and really fast. So they're really cracking down on it. It's... I mean, that being said. Why do you need to swear within the first 15 seconds of your video? I don't know, like, right? I don't know. but And I, mean, I, I don't want to judge anybody, but... Nope, I know. I can understand how swearing in the first 15 seconds may be inappropriate. Yeah, um, maybe. Says, I mean, personally, I think they're actually taking a very reasonable approach to it. Yeah. 
excessive swearing, fine. I don't need to listen to somebody dropping f bombs. Nope. No, nope, not I'm at all. We fine. Not <laughs> people drop random right. f bombs. Actually, um, no, this doesn't. Well, ex especially it's ex excessive. There's something to be said about slipping up, and I think they could have made it a lot worse. Yep, they could have. Oh my god, if this is how it's going to be, that's going to be a long drawn process. Ah, uh, so you can sprint run. You're going to burn through food like crazy. Don't put buckets down until you have enough. Don't do it. What do you mean? Don't do it. Wait until, it, like, because you're going to sit there and put one bucket at a time. Oh, I see. If you wait until you have it 16 wide, yeah. you don't have to do one block at a time. Okay, gotcha. All right. No problem. I understand what you're saying. Okay, so... So yeah, that was the uh, big news on the YouTube front. Um, you know, I did uh, leave um, did leave Twitch to come over here due to Twitch's um, lack of response to the uh, racial racial ra uh, raids uh, uh, stream raids that they had um, couple, last year, year before I think it was. I actually was hit by one while I was streaming one night. So, um, I, I, you know, I prefer, you know, being here. One, uh, I don't mind YouTube, uh, cause, uh, once I stream, then my, my VODs are there for you guys to watch afterwards. Um, so, um, there's no need of me having then to turn around and doing a whole video modification and all that jazz to to um, get it uh, uploaded for you guys. It's already there. Um, if I was on Twitch, I would have to do you know all this editing and uploading and all that stuff. So I don't mind it here. Secondly, me being here on YouTube, um, I do stream on. Uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, which will be sim racing, and I stream on ultra wide, uh, which you cannot do on YouTube or on Twitch. Excuse me, you can't do that on Twitch. So uh, there is an advantage of me being here on YouTube. Uh, this is not uh, ultra wide, which I'm doing it, but it's 2560 by 1440. So I'm running this at uh, uh, what's 1440s? 2K, right? Or is it 4K? can't remember um but the uh process is much easier here than um over on twitch i mean there is some benefits to twitch i won't deny i mean there's the rating process but there's supposedly there's rating here but i don't have many uh fellow streamers that are on um on youtube I'm pretty much the only one. All my other buddies and friends, whatever, they're on on Twitch. So that's the drawback of me being here. But I see I outweigh the the drawbacks uh, to a benefit here because that, that I can do my ultra wide streaming. So. so on another note, it was a sad, somber week this week in regards to. Um, celebrities that were lost last night. Um, one of the uh, most famous Daredevil's sons passed away. Evil Knievel's son. Uh, what was his name? Um, uh, what's his name? He's, I'd lost. I want to say Robbie Knievel. Robbie Knievel. I... Yep, Robbie. That's I correct. Right? I think so. Let me just double check wow. that. Let me just double check that. Um, Sorry, that was a shot in the dark. I had no. How do I know that? Dare, dare, d dare, devil. Yeah, Robbie Knievel. That's right. Evil Knievel's son, Robbie, who dies at sixty. But he had, he was uh, uh, battling cancers, as it says here. He was battling cancer for a number of years. So um, it wasn't as uh, 
unexpected as it was for Lisa Presley, Lisa Marie Presley, who uh, suddenly passed away also yesterday or the day before, I think it was. So, sad to see them go. Um, I mean, for myself, getting older every year, there's just a lot of, uh, you know, people that I grew up watching, you know, I remember Robbie Keeneval trying to jump the, you know, the Grand Canyon uh, and stuff like that. So, um, and Evil trying to do the same thing and all their stunts when they did those in the many years back. Um, so, it's sad, but that's just part of life. So, on a higher note, I hope everyone has had a great week. We've got a long week, a uh, long weekend, excuse me. Um, uh, celebrating the, uh, oh, we got a server reset here in five minutes, folks. So just a reminder, this will happen every Friday night at, uh, 9 PM, uh, Arizona time. So just have to just think it has it. a forced file break. Oh, well that, or, you know, shooting some more poop, but, um, yeah. So Monday is here in the United States and all around the world. The um, that well, I don't know if it's all around the world, but it is here in Arizona for for where I'm at. It's uh, a holiday for um, the great Martin Luther King. Um, a mis uh, a uh, what do you want to call him? I don't know what would the word be. What were those type of people called? Um, revolution, revolutionary, revolutionaries, revolutionaries, and in, in in the in his time to bring equality to all. Um, and to this date, we still don't have that equality to all. There's still um, discrimination throughout the world, um, which is sad to sad to say. But uh, hopefully. Uh, yeah, before my lifetime, maybe it might be settled. Hopefully before my daughter's lifetime, and it would be settled. I used all that. Wow. Um, so, let's hope. All right. I guess I'm going to leave the game here, folks, and we will into a small break um and uh go back into my just chatting uh while we uh wait for this uh server reset so today um i think if i can actually show this uh, myself and master tony were looking at additional um rtx packs uh, let's go back to my game so you can see my browser uh kingdom all us three um so we were looking now i've got the um real source rtx pack and there is some discrepancies or there is some not discrepancies there's some things i don't like about it I mean, I guess that's part of purchasing, using other people's productions um, that you haven't been involved or you haven't had any input to. You have to accept what they do. I do have a lifetime membership to Real Source, so that means I've got all the updates, everything that comes out new. Uh, I will get those for for free because I paid a monetary amount to be able to get to this RTX pack because I like the RTX pack that I've got. It gives me that, to me, the realisticness that I look for that kind of, I'm not liking the OC Minecraft and the way it looks. I understand it's a block format game, not a problem, but I kind of want to like to see, you know, textures to those blocks and textures to the trees and leaves looking like leaves 
but throughout um uh, my use i found some issues that not issues but likings that i'm not liking very well one which we i explained earlier tonight was the um issue about so let me back up here rtx is basically bringing in to the game shadows which the normal oc does not really have doesn't have right tony it doesn't have shadows correct yeah i mean it's not just about shadows though to be clear it really is about bringing in real life lighting right. effects right lighting effects right yeah. that's what i meant so lighting like, not shadows but like in fact yeah. yeah yeah so in this rtx it uses the ambient light to light the area if you're in a dark forest and there's no light it's dark understandable right like in normal life if you're in a dark forest you'll have minimal to no light if you're in a cave you'll have minimal to no light that's part of what RTX brings to the game. So for instance, let's pick a picture here. So I'm picking this picture and yeah, let's just, let's just take his for example. Um, that does not show what I'm trying to show here. Oh shoot, where, let me just get a better one. Well, that was that was what I was trying to show. All right, I guess. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. So sneeze. this Kings of, Kingdoms of Wallace one that you're on. Just to be clear, this is not the same pack that you're using now, right? Yes, that is that is correct. That's not the one I'm using now. Um, the one I'm using now is, and let me go. I I suppose let me, I, I should use the example that I'm using because that's fair to um real source i like the pack i really enjoy the pack it is probably the most how would you say it uh, um the most realistic a lot of the most realistic to me that i i think uh um let me see if i can get some pictures here no, I can't get some pictures. Let me see if I go into the regular home, if I can get uh, RTX Bedrock. Because I got the Bedrock one. There is a Java one, and then there is a um, PE, which is the uh, personal edition, which is your phone. You can play it on your phone and have it running on your phone. So real source is a realistic, trying to be a realistic RTX pack, okay? So as you can see these pictures, you see how there's the lights coming from the left and you got shading behind this bush, right? Um, shading behind this grass and so forth behind the flower. So, excuse me. Um, let's see here if I, okay, here's the example. So we got light that's coming through here in the center of the screen, but then on the left side of the screen, the light is not making it through, so it's dark. But with RTX, it becomes real dark. Like dark to the point that when Master Tony and I are in the same location, he can actually see steps. Like if we're in a cave, he can actually see steps or blocks to block the block to walk up uh, uh, um, uh, an incline. It's like you're walking around right? with your eyes closed. Right. So that's what's happening. So today, I accidentally was hitting my keyboard and I accidentally hit the semicolon. But find out after myself and Master Tony uh, joined a Discord group uh, called Minecraft RTX, we found out that that is a hotkey to turn off RTX or turn it on. So now, uh, once we can get back into the server, I will show you guys what that looks like and the fact that we can actually now, and I went to the nether today and I was able to see that 
Um, here's some examples. I actually, hopefully, yes, they should open up. Uh, so today, this is um, this is the Nether with RTX on. Okay, that's the Nether with RTX on. Here's the Nether with RTX off. So you can see how much difference RTX on, RTX off, right? Here's another view of RTX on of my portal in the nether. All right, this is the view. And then here's the view with uh, RTX off. You can actually see the design of the um, sea lanterns and so forth. You can see the bricks, but you couldn't see the bricks. You can see the bricks here, but they have those shadows, right? They have the, the lighting effects of RTX. So um, that's one of the drawbacks that I found with real source that some of the uh, lighting, but now we found the, maybe we found a, um, what do you want to call it? A uh, fix, if of some sort you want to call it. Um, also, there's some blocks that I'm not too, uh, not too keen about. Um, they're, 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 um, how would you say it? Um, they are. The artist took a little bit of creative license. Yeah. In some of the yeah. He that... didn't. So you may not have done if you were the same. And I mean, not to criticize. No, him, not to criticize him mean. at all. Real source is, I, I have no serious issues with real source. It, it's, it's what I want in an RTX pack. I have a graphics card that has the capability of um, running RTX. I want to use it. I want to use that light. I want to see that effect. But there is some blocks i.e. the um, defense post. What the frick? How? Okay, if I... Frick, that's where I worked. What's that? I wonder if frick is a swear word. I don't know if it is or not, but why... We'll find out. <laughs> oh, well, it won't find out because you... Because I don't... Uh, I'm not monetized, so I won't be able to... Won't be losing I think them. they'll still tell you that video has been demonetized and will not be eligible. I don't know. But, um, the, the, um, the, there's some blocks, i.e. the, the fence. We had to actually make our own modification to the fence. And we did that last night by modifying the uh, inner working files of the textures. So that to be clear, we did take his. Like yes, we took two this real source yeah, packs. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. We this is a real source. This is from his modern source pack, and used that iron bars to produce this within um, within uh, the real source original pack not by any means that i go to anyone else and get any uh different uh resource pack and use that um in this pack so i'm still using the real source pack but i didn't like the way the fence looked for me to build what i needed so we uh continue to use real source but the modern iron bars to produce to produce um, uh, a better looking fence that will accommodate what I'm trying to build here. So, so there is other blocks that are you know like like the brick the the brick block kind of to me actually didn't really come out the way i thought it would in regards to the color it's more orange than 
a brick would look like. So I'm not sure where that came from. But hey, listen. Very cartoonish. Yeah, it, it, it is. Um, and he does have a cartoon. He does have a cartoon pack. So maybe it slipped into this pack some way or another. I don't know. But. Yeah, I mean, it, it is all personal preference. Yeah, it's all personal He's preference. He's an amazing artist. And I mean, that, it looks Absolute. amazing. Oh, well, this looks amazing. The reason why I still have it. The reason why I haven't switched. But there is others that, you know, have different things that, you know, if if I was a programmer and had time to do it, maybe I'd like to make my own pack uh, and, and, and design it to what I would like or what maybe Master Tony and I would like. But, I mean, that's a lot of work. I mean, these guys are doing... Uh, you know, Real Source and Kingdom Wallace are doing this as a full-time job, right? This is their living. So no way am I going to take from their living and, uh, you know, uh, try to um, steal their their design and manipulate it to what I want. And that's why I still am using the modern uh, add-on that comes with Real Source that I have ability to do so on another note or that's enough of that note i guess but uh what's Just on your more. can you imagine us trying to actually agree <laughs> yeah that might be a little difficult because you i don't think we'd ever get one back for the two of us. no no because because you are a hardcore oc minecrafter and i'm kind of like not modern but i'm definitely um uh, uh, progressive in regards to my texture packs. One, you don't have an RTX uh, a video card, GPU, as of yet. Um, so you don't have the ability to um, actually see uh, what it can do other than watching my stream or watching, you know, when I share my screen with you to see what it actually looks like, right? So it's kind of hard for you to stay at this you point. Say that, I'm actually mounting the water block onto my video card as we speak. Uh, but yes, you you're not correct. playing. Uh, the server was restarting. Yeah, that was like uh, I got, I got sidetracked seven minutes ago. Yeah, I'm coming back. So, but I mean, you, you know, it's it's great to be able to have this, you know, modern type look with this modern technology of RTX and, and it's growing in, in not just in Minecraft, but other games now are really using the DLSS and, and the RTX and really bringing the graphics out on all the games that uh, we, we, we can play. I mean, not all titles are, uh, you know, um, RTX compatible. But yeah. But it's it's progressing, right? It's becoming part of the gaming industry, which is it's great because it brings a little bit more uh, uh, immersion to the game in regards to having shadows and so forth, right? So, but I'm actually surprised that Minecraft, of all things, and not a knock on Minecraft. Everybody knows I put way too much time into my game, but Minecraft, of all things, is the one that really kind of pioneered this yeah exactly one of the first major games to actually include it i think probably it's due to the fact that of the simplicity of the design i think that has a lot to do with it right i mean everybody says simplicity of the design in minecraft but you have to keep in mind like in most games let's take battlefield i can blow up these select walls yep and they destruct in the same way every time i hit them with the same tank Minecraft, I mean, in, in every single column that you look at, there's, what is it, 300 different blocks and combinations of, like, two, what, I forget how many blocks are even in the game. Just the complexities of this game, I mean, yes, it looks simplistic. Yes, it looks block-like, and it's made a name for itself and made a lot of money because of it. I actually make the argument there's more to this just because of the fact that it's infinitely destructible. Oh, How many other yeah. games can you completely destroy? Yeah. Like, can you imagine Battlefield if you could actually dig your own trenches? 
Like, that would be a totally different game. Yep. Yep. For sure. Well, that's that's wonderful. Uh, Wiki, how many blocks in Minecraft Bedrock? And they give me a Java edition. I mean, they are roughly equivalent. Um, I don't know of many blocks that exist in Java that are not in Bedrock. And I, th I want to say about 500. 702. Approximately, uh, there's guess. 702 in Minecraft in a single game. There are collectively over 2 million blocks boxed up in different pixels to create scenes, elements, and entities. Hmm. Yes. Two, their worlds are 250 blocks long, but okay, that's this. So, so this is the uh, my, Minecraft wiki. Um, if you're ever playing Minecraft and you need to find an information, other, you know, other than Google or specific to Minecraft, uh, these are good wikis to figure out how to do things. So if I want to learn how to do a Minecraft menu of redstone to build something, you can go and ask there. Or, I mean, hey, everybody knows YouTube has always got something on it. So um, you can find many different things on YouTube and... And it's also Minecraft on there. There's some great content creators on Minecraft. Uh, Mumbo Jumbo. Is, is that right? Mumbo Jumbo. Tony's favorite. Jumbo Jumbo. Tony's favorite. So. Yeah, yep. I mean, I there's probably a dozen different creators on YouTube that I watch, but Mumbo Jumbo is by far my favorite. I started out on the Redstone's redstone side of things mm -hmm. i didn't even realize you could make things nearly as pretty as you can until yeah. further along obviously the hermitcraft series the they're a dime a dozen i do find though if you want obscure knowledge like how many blocks are there in minecraft i'm sure somebody has mentioned that in a video oh we just did probably what the wiki's a lot better for that yep. um, if you want to know the design for a farm i mean if you a little newer at trying to design redstone stuff like that yeah youtube is an absolute yep amazing resource or master tony who i keep telling him that he needs to start streaming he needs to start making youtube uh uh a part of his life but he's a very busy man so doing that is not uh, is as easy as it sounds but okay so you can see the rtx here there's suns there in the west side um and you can see like the shadows moving look how they're moving to my left and they're actually getting longer and longer right you can see them move it's, it's just unreal how it's it's really you know been able to use rtx to be able to do that you know in a game that's you know i don't want to downplay minecraft but a game that's built out of a square block I don't know what the dimension of the block is, but, um, you know. The representation in the real world, according to Mojang creators, is one meter. One inch. meter square. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, is anyone going to sleep, or do I need to sleep this time? Oh, I'm going to sleep. Oh, because it's only you and I. Jeez. Or, no, you're not even I on. I think it's you and I. I'm not even on yet. Jesus. Mr. Oh, why don't we start playing Minecraft again on Friday nights? Mr. Buddy. Yeah, in all fairness, I'm trying to find I'm trying to build a video card so I can see the RTX because you've got me wanting it now. Yeah. So, hopefully in that process, maybe Master Tony will... Um, get the um kingdom kingdom wallace uh rtx pack and uh we can see which one uh, between the two of us is is better or has the not that it's better because they both are good that will have um what's the word 
uh, a better representation of what we're looking for in um, block design and uh, this, the scale of the blocks that we want for um, um, our builds. I mean, because um, because our um, designs are different. I mean, everyone's, you know, I'm trying to build probably something a little bit more modern, but not modern is the modern uh, add-on that a real source has. But um, maybe someone else in the RTX uh, package world as something that will be more suitable to what I'm looking for. Or um, there's an add-on for medieval stuff because I want to make a medieval castle one day, which I did in a previous realm. or previ Was it realm or server? Realm. We did that I've in I've done realm. one in a realm, and I think you did it on our previous server. Yeah. So um, you have the ability to do that, right? So um, that's the, you know, the the modern world of uh, software development and uh, design two apps two programs aren't the same but they could be doing the same exact uh, functionality right so um let's hope uh that uh you know once he gets his is what what do you got you got a 3090 or 3080 ti 3080 Ti. 3080 Ti. So I got a 3070 Ti. Water so. right now. So. Yeah. Um, so, on a note about that, there was a video by Jay's Two Cents this week. One of, also, one of our favorite uh, YouTubers in regards to computer and technology um, presented a video about MSI Afterburner that uh, may be going away. Uh, because MSI is not paying the Russian developer uh, because of the conflict in uh, Europe. I won't go any more on that, but um, supposedly uh, that uh, MSI Afterburner is uh, maybe not going to be uh, upgraded uh, to be able to handle any future uh, versions of the uh, world of graphics cards. So, if you have a 30 series, you should be okay uh, because it um, it uh, is. How did you, Siri? How the heck did you get? When I was saying this, how did? That... Weird. That um. What's the word? Activate her. Weird. On my phone. Well, I mean, I have some personal comments there that I should probably yeah, keep up. Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm listening not, to you. I, well, they That's are. Mr. Google is too, right? But it doesn't matter yeah, who it is. It's a little convenient that you mentioned the conflict in Russia. <laughs> yeah. No, no. It was, it was came up after that. But um, it didn't have anything to do with that specific topic. But... Um, obviously it had to do with me saying, um, something else after I said MSI afterburner, um, that it picked up, but whatever. So the MSI afterburner will still work with, uh, from what Jay says with 30 series, because it's been developed up to that point. And I think the, yeah, the version would have been 30 series cause it's now, uh, the date of that version is, I think, two years old. Or a year and a half. So for those who don't know, what is it? What does it do? So MSI Afterburner enables you to um, effectively control your GPU in regards to fan curves, uh, power input, um, and I will actually, if I can bring it here and show you, I guess this is probably the good thing. So in here, you can change your power limit. You can change your temperature uh, limit to what it wants to be. You can increase your core clock to do uh, sort of what you want to call over overclocking your graphics core or undervolting your graphics card 
to get better performance out of it. Or as I've done, left it, left it default, but I defined, um, I defined a fan curve uh, to accommodate what I think I need in regards to uh, keeping my fan running to keep my machine cool. I'm running at 67 Celsius with OBS, uh, YouTube Live Studio running, Minecraft running, and I have another, uh, you know, another browser here open in the background. I do have my stream beats running um, in the background here also uh, that you guys can you guys can hear music as we're talking along. And if you don't want me to talk anymore, I can <laughs> shut up. But um, you know, I have I that. Do I have to press for that? What do you have to press that? It's just mute. Um, but you know, the, so the the afterburner. You're so funny. Uh, the afterburner is a valuable tool. Um, you know, I do have an EVGA, um, GeForce RTX 3070 Ti, and I could be using um, EG, EVGA's uh, tool. But I, I simply like uh, the MSI Afterburner a lot better because of the uh, ease of use and understanding of what I need in regards to um, uh, just having access to creating a fan curve and not worrying about it. It's running at all times, never shuts off, and I have full control of it. So, but... Um, you know, it's uh, it's a shame, but uh, that piece of software may go away, which is is uh, sad because it's actually a good one. So, but, yeah. So I mean, like in this case, why don't they just pay somebody else to maintain it? He owns the rights to all the software that is used under the name of MSI Afterburner. So MSI actually pays him to run his, uh, uh, to create the software underneath of it. Makes sense. And they, and in the contract agreement, uh, they do not have rights to the actual code that creates the, um, uh, technology of MSI, MSI Afterburner. The only thing that he gets from them is the um, the codex for the graphics cards to be able to um, code against them to be able to manipulate those items that I explained before, like the the clock yeah. speed and the fan control and all that stuff. So, I mean, I'm sure there will be others that come out with it, but yeah. So. Uh, Gamer Nexus basically asked uh, um, EVGA to uh, make their Precision XL uh, a payable uh, item, a payable uh, product. So they are thinking like, you know, $10 to get uh, Precision, Precision XL. But in my opinion, uh, Precision XL doesn't even... Some people think Precision XL is way better than MSI Afterburner. And as you know, I was having a lot of issues with that. And that's why I switched over to MSI Afterburner. And from that point on, I have had no problems with, uh, you know, my graphics uh, temperatures on my GPU. So I'm not going to go back to EVGA Precision XL unless they come up with some uh, newer design that makes it a little bit more simpler to um, run it. So. But. And personally, I'm just going to hope, and again, I'm staying out of this one, but I'm just going to hope the politics and all that work itself out for the yeah. conflict and it's no longer. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, it'll always be an issue, of course. Yeah. But like, I mean, like Jay said, he, he doesn't have the 
you know, all the details, the underlying details, and he wasn't going to comment on it, just like I'm not going to comment on it, because I don't know. I mean, I don't know what's involved in the contract between those two, and the reason why he hasn't been played, played, hasn't been paid since uh, that issue has uh, started. So, it's politics. They started really to no. hit the mainstream. Uh, no. Like that issue's been going on for a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I mean, the issue when it started officially as a. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. That that he has not been paid since the first day of that officially announced. So uh, to me, that's, you know, has something to do with it. I think it's politically motivated. So um, they want nothing to do with it. A lot of other companies are having the same issue that that have software development companies in that country. Um, you know, things are happening because of that where they're not being involved in what that what's happening over there. So, I mean, well, yeah. it's not just that country or any specific country. Actually, it's actually not that uncommon. No, it's not that, that uncommon. Going into yeah. your business. The sanctions right. have been put in place that yeah. are affecting more than just the countries that are being sanctioned. Individuals that have nothing to do or bear any responsibility are being affected. It's just part of the world politics that you know yep. yeah. and it's kind of unfortunate I mean, yeah it is very unfortunate I'm a soccer def. I, I got a feel for the guy yep exactly so but on another note uh, i mean uh, another topic we can get off this one but it's a shame it's a not good it's a good product um it's a very well designed product and a number of people use it so if you have i would say a 30 series uh or a 6000 series 30 series nvidia card or 6000 series um amd card you should be okay still using it um uh, going forward so and that being said if you want to consider using it i'd suggest downloading it now yeah exactly before it's uh taken off the uh taken off the um world of the internet if it hasn't already been. Yeah. I don't know. But I never checked it, but... Nope. I would be downloading it if I were you, but... Also, they're saying that the NVIDIA broadcast um, that you can put on your NVIDIA cards uh, has that ability already. AMD, uh, to be honest with you, if I had an AMD card, I wouldn't even be using MSI Afterburner. AMD has an awesome graphic interface or an interface to their cards that comes with their cards for free. But it can't be used with a uh, NVIDIA card, only AMD. And it's great, great in interface. When I had the 5700 XT before I upgraded to to this machine and the 3070, um, I loved that AMD uh, interface and how it was able to interact. It was good, very good. So. Maybe maybe uh, Nvidia will come up with something of the caliber or uh, capabilities of um, the uh, AMD uh, software um, package. So, but you know, other than that, time will tell. Time will tell. Exactly. So, so how much do you got left to build on your PC? I'm Did just you get a case? The water park now. I'm using the old one. The, okay. The original one I was using. Right. We have the current machine mounted in the server case. Ultimately, it'll become a server for me. And yeah, I'm just using my old one. So, so what did you do about the uh, USB uh, compatible issues because you are got an older case and may not have USB 3? They actually sell. So I still have a five and a half inch bay. Um, it's a tower 9000 or something like that by thermal take it's, yep. it's an amazingly beautiful case um it has a five and a half inch bay in it so it is actually an option for me to just buy a five and a half inch like plug-in that has usb in it that being said i actually have oh i could get wrong on this but i want to say it's a usb uh 3.1 maybe 3.2 
Yeah, so I actually sure. have a relatively recent um, USB in it. Yeah. Uh, the case wasn't that old. I thought it was only USB two. It's not the blue one, but it's I think the one right before that, or they just the, U the blue one's USB three because I have that in my case. But is it three three one or three two? Uh, couldn't tell you. Three point oh. Exactly. Three point oh is actually an older standard. I found out. Yep. So I think I have three three zero. Oh. I think the newest is three one. Right. I don't know so, what. I mean. I don't know what the pins look like. I know it's blue, and it's a it's a wide. It's uh, not a USB thick um, view. It's oh no no wide. I don't mean the USB C if that's a jack. No, it's still it's USB the, the three. Jackal. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, I can always just run a hub from the motherboard and be done with it too. Yep, you could. You could I actually moving that. this over. I had to get a hub. Did you? Um, my, my headset here, uh, I don't know if you remember, oh, right. but yep. maybe a week or two ago, yep. yeah, my headset was cutting out because I had the adapter in the back. Okay. And it was a very bad few days being at work from home. Yep. It was Nobody when we were, me. we would, you'd be like a robot talking to us, so. Yep. Yep. So, got a hub, fixed my problem. Yeah. With the sit stand, sit stand desk, that hub will actually come in handy. I've got a lot of devices going into my uh, back of my machine right now, and oh, don't talk you about. You never think of it. Don't but, talk uh, about how many devices. Length. Yep, cord length. I've I've got. I bought a five pack of USB extender cables, six foot cables. When you get to a sit stand desk, though, unless you have your PC mounted to the desk or yep. on the desk. Yep. Most people don't realize it goes up and down, and yep. now I need a longer cable. Exactly. And like, I pulled more than my fair share stuff off. Off, yeah. They come disconnected and so forth. So, yep, yep. exactly. Well, it's exactly. not good for the cables. It's not nope. good for the connectors. It's not good for disconnection. Random thing hitting the floor. Like, yeah. It's... I mean, if you're using something, and you're disconnected in the middle of using it, and yep. yeah, it's not fun. So, I, I figure it's a six foot hub so it's got a six foot cable on it yeah. should hopefully come in handy good good oh god this is this is gonna be process oh i'm uh started at 4800 and i think i go to 4650 I can't remember where that ends up, but got a ways to go. But I'm not going to all do this all tonight. I'm going to get a fair amount done while we're here because it's the, you know, it's the process of me building this, and I want you guys to see, uh, you know, what it actually takes to make this massive airbase and airport and uh, what's involved in it. Because uh, if I just come out here on my stream and just uh, go from one week to the next and just show you what it looks like um, and not see, see the, you know, the manpower and effort it takes to, to make this would not be, uh, you know, a good view for you guys. So I've well, gone. Keep in mind, you're still doing stuff offline. Oh yeah, I'm still just, doing like, stuff. All of this concrete was gathered offline. And yep. Didn't and I made it offline. Said, watch you yeah, make concrete. <laughs> exactly. Let me come with you, but still. Yeah, but that's different. You're the one that's made me addicted to this game, so it's your fault. If you want to blame me for your enjoyment, you go right ahead. It's not enjoyment yet. I don't know if I would have to say enjoyment. Uh... You know, it's the fact that I don't uh, quit at something if I start something. So, you know, that's just me. So, but welcome everyone. I see we have a couple new viewers in. Welcome to my stream. I'm Old Canadian Gamer and we have uh, Master Tony here along with us tonight. Uh, we're in the process of making an Air Force base. We have uh, uh uh, Canada Place here over on my right. 
Um, that is the area for my headquarters, uh, for my base. Uh, we have a tarmac here that is 200 square, but I'm actually putting concrete, as you can see now. Uh, then we have a um, runway, uh, uh, taxiway, and a runway over on the other side. So, um, yeah, so it's uh, in the process of making a big old uh, airport. So, and then they leave. Um, yeah. No, you still have a couple of viewers. No, it shows one. You. Oh, it's still showing two for me. Yeah. So, welcome. Welcome, everyone. Glad you uh, joined in and decided to come in and see the stream. Appreciate it. Don't forget to, uh, if you haven't, uh, haven't subscribed, it's free. And don't forget, forget to hit the like buttons because it helps uh, for me to be recognized in the uh, world of uh, YouTube. So much appreciated. While we're on the topic, I'm going to say welcome to everybody who watches after the fact. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Those people who uh, um, watch my streams afterwards and happens to watch quite a bit of it i understand that nobody uh, not everybody can be here for you know well i'll probably be on here for four hours tonight uh i understand that people can't uh, be here for the length of uh, a stream or they have irl stuff to do i appreciate your views afterwards thanks so much don't forget to hit the likes afterwards leave your comments got any questions um you will see at the beginning of my stream here I was trying to decide on the uh, block type for my hangers. Um, if you have any comments or any suggestions uh, that will help with the uh, process, don't hesitate to leave it below, uh, below in the actual video once it's uh, uploaded. And uh, I'll, I'll get back to you as quick as I can. So thanks so much. Let I me mean, just a little fun exercise here since we're on the, the topic. Where's everybody from? Just a country, not, not not looking for a city address, anything like that. Where's everybody from? I mean, oh. yeah, obviously you and I are Canadian we're Canadians. Heart, yes, right? so I'm. We're from Canada. So yep, I'm just uh, curious where your viewers are coming from. I'm I'm Canadian uh, with permanent residency here in the United States. I'm in uh, in the United States uh, on a permanent residency and uh, have been here since 2012. So. Anyone else, uh, leave your comments if you are watching this afterwards uh, or anyone that's in my stream now. Where are you guys from? I'd like to know. It would be kind of interesting to see where where people are from. I know I've had people on my uh, sim racing stream from New Zealand. Had someone from Colombia. Uh, what was the other place? I think it was Summers in Europe. Someone was watching my stream from, so and they were and I was live and they were watching, which is kind of cool because, you know, they're eight to ten hours ahead of me, so that was pretty nice. But uh, yeah, I Leave remember it. last time we were streaming, there was a gentleman from Australia, I believe it was. Yep, yep, he was, was uh, uh, watching your Minecraft videos. Yep, he was from Australia, and I haven't seen him for a while, but I mean. I did take a break, and I mentioned that in my last stream that I'm not going to really talk about that. But it's been it's been well noted that a lot of people have had this issue, and and I did myself uh, during uh, during and after COVID. So, but uh, I, I think I'm on the mend. So hopefully it's uh, gone and passed, and I move on. So, but yeah. Um. What would you guys like to like to see in my uh, build in regards to an Air Force base? Um, in the future, I plan on making uh, in in location that location. There's water, uh, but it's outside of the um, current uh, communities uh, boundaries. So I may have to figure out how to put a military base or I mean a naval base uh, eventually in the future. In that direction uh to my right as we speak now um i'm thinking about uh, once this air force base is done to create a um 
create a um, army base, uh, land base, I guess you want to call it, because there could be army in any of these locations, but uh, land base, this is an air base, and so forth. So, any suggestions? I'm greatly open to that. So, if you got any suggestions, that would be cool. So, um, so I've got a couple of surprises planned for you, but I'm not going to spoil those. Oh yet. yeah, I, I just don't just use to... just don't use <laughs> TNT, okay? No, 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 nothing destructive. I, I think you'll appreciate it. You'll, uh, you'll laugh. I know. Okay, so now I got to go downstairs and get some more. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two lots of this um, build or this uh, um, Belkers, and uh, then we'll start into building the the actual guard tower and uh shack uh tonight after that so hopefully everyone's having a good night and if you haven't seen uh this is uh the entrance to canada place uh plan on having a another between this and this uh upright and that upright we're gonna have a another arch that's gonna bring into a loading dock and everything I'm going to have over there uh, in future. Uh, this is your entrance to Canada Place. I have guard here and you talk into the megaphone or whatever, megaphone, yes, to or the, whatever to talk to the um, guard to be able to have access into Canada Place. Um, if you're aware of Minecraft, this is another portal uh, so I can actually go through and uh, get to other places far away uh, within the actual um, uh, uh, boundaries of the world we're in. I plan on having um, my stairwell here uh, to go down to the different levels. So we're going to have a communications level, mechanics level, we have my supplies level, and there's probably going to be a not water level, but I'm not sure how I'm going to build that now because under my current um, supply level uh, or my sorting system, um, there is a great big cavern um, there. There's a big cavern there, so uh, I may have to see how I'm going to build that. But um, then um, the... Uh, you want to call it the got to have the stairwell go down i've lost my train of thought the stairwell go down so that um we can uh get to the different levels of uh the canada place and be able to uh go into the mechanical room where maybe in the mechanical room i'll have uh some small little farms that I need or something of some sort that are uh, enable me to um, have some different uh, 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 items that I need to be able to build things or supplies and so forth. Um, the set where, where I was in the, at the top was the entry level um, that uh, will be, you know, basically the top part of the actual Canada place. And then a uh, second level will be barracks and I'll make some barracks in there and lounge areas for personnel and so forth. And then uh, the third level, third level will be my um, communication center. Um, and uh, we'll design that and uh, so forth. Uh, maybe I'll use some uh, old uh, designs that I had when I was in the military uh, in in Halifax and uh, Canada and uh, design some of the communication center to be sort of in that manner so forth um, I'm going to need more Wow I thought I had enough but I guess not I'm going to need more um, then uh, on my next level will be the, like I said, the mechanical uh, level. And uh, that will be, you know, small little farms that I don't, will not be lag, uh, laggy type things that I just turn on, turn off to uh, make some 
you know, or have like food of some sort growing there or something like that. Uh, we'll see what that will be once once I get that um, all set up. Like I am, I'm on now the one, two, three, four, the fifth level down, which is gonna be my sorting system that I'm actually gonna be making a single um, sorting system to be able to sort items, oops, um, to sort items automatically. Basically, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is have a, um, a chest on the above ground to uh, enable automatic push to this uh, floor, and it will then automatically sort to the chests that are, you know, uh, let's say, you know, you got bricks or, or lights or food or wood, like down there, um, all that, and it automatically sorts that. For you and you don't have to come in here and then uh go find the actual chest and manually put it in yourself which will be uh, nice to do eventually um so i don't have to uh down here every time i mean yes i got my my bed and all that stuff down here but um it'd be nice to just drop it in a chest above the ground and it automatically drops it down here into the to the sorting system so, so, yeah. So, as we stated earlier, um, if you happen to be in my stream and uh, wanna wanna let us know where you're from, don't have to be specific. Country is is cool. Please do. I like to know where people are from and uh, and see how uh, you know. How many people are coming from wherever in the world? So if you're you're liking that idea, please uh, drop your your country. And uh, what do you like and what do you dislike in regards to um, my stream and and what I'm doing? And would you have any suggestions for? Me? So I I'm open, very open to this. I'm not a I'm not very new to this by any means. Well, I mean I'm not. I'm new to this for the most part. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so welcome. Welcome to Old Canadian Gamers channel and thank you for coming in and joining in on my stream tonight. Much appreciate it. Um, currently I'm trying to build my tarmac so I can actually start uh, building my hangars and building the airport complexes that I'm planning on building with vehicles and all that uh, requirements. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. This has to be done or I can't go on to uh, additional builds that I want to start and uh, accommodate for future streams. So it's uh, a process that needs to be done and uh, thought I'd chat with you guys while I'm doing it and, you know, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys are enjoying it. So you got to give me any hints, Tony, on what the uh, surprise is going to be? No. No? Not at all. Oh, that's... Nope. This one's got to be a surprise. You, you're going to log into stream one day. I'm going to tell you to start recording before you log in. And we're just going to see what you have to say. Okay. I'd like to know how you're going to do that when I'm basically on it every day. I don't know. We'll find a way. <laughs> I'm not going on vacation. Well, I am going on vacation in July, but I'm not planning. Well, I'm planning on going. Sure that's after the world. Huh? Pretty sure that's after we lose the world. Well, I hope we don't lose the world. I really don't. Well, we're not going to lose it. I mean, we do take nightly backups and stuff like that. So it's no, not no. going anywhere. But I know, but when I they do an update, I don't know. Would we get a new seed if they do that? Yes. Oh, yeah, well. So, um,. The plan, like most servers on this one, is we're going to reevaluate. It's nothing is for sure yet, but uh, we'll reevaluate. I believe we said around June, July uh -huh. Uh -huh. time frame. Um, just whether or not we want to continue playing on this world. I think we're so both gamer and I joined this world part way through. I joined the server part way through. Yep. I think it's been up and running for about a year, give or take. Yeah, I think. Uh, that means it'll be what about is eighteen months total. Tony, Tony said it's been about a year, and uh, and uh, yep. 
the administrators basically said it's been a been about a year. Yeah. So theoretically, we're probably plan we're planning on losing access to this world or lo losing it on the server. Um, okay. We'll still have downloads if we really need to finish anything or want to finish it off. But. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll definitely download it because uh, if we're losing this, then I want to have, uh, you know, a record of this to save the world for future openings. Because uh, this is a, uh, it's been a lot, as you can see, those mountains over there to where I'm pointing to now, um, this was all that height, all this height, all this was about that height until I cleared it out. So to get to this point where I'm at now, uh, that I'm able to thou put concrete down in regards to, uh, um, tarmac. So, so I mean, Athos craft, it's a server that we're on. It's got a public website. They actually allow everybody to download a copy of the world, um, in previous seasons not this season you have to be a registered server member to, to join during the season um so if people want to go check out the old worlds i can't personally say i have but i've seen pictures and they've done some amazing builds so yeah um this will actually become available for everybody to download at some point yeah. scary thought eh? scary thought yeah scary thought yep 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 so if you're uh, just joining the stream, welcome again. I'm Old Canadian Gamer. We have Master Tony here on the uh, horn with us. I'm actually uh, in the process of building an uh, Air Force base. And uh, yeah, don't be shy. Say hi. You want to, you know, have any comments or any suggestions, uh, please uh, send them in the chat. Or if you're watching later, uh, don't hesitate to leave some comments below when you're watching stream offline uh, because you weren't able to get in and uh, watch the stream. I understand. Appreciate any comments. Don't forget to make those likes as it, it brings the uh, YouTube algorithm uh, more towards the streamers. So, unlike Twitch, which is a... Um, streaming platform that's uh, designed to help you get um, recognized. YouTube is a little harder in that manner. So, so I'm going to try to get these four shelkers done. And once these four shelkers are done, we're going to water this up. And then we're going to start building our um, uh, guard towers or guard uh, points. Probably put a real shame that it's so hard to get rid of water because that would be so much fun to flood. What this? Yep, your oh. whole tarmac 200 by 200. Yeah, make it a big lake. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? But it's not done that way. It was no water here, this was all mountain, so there's no water around here. Yeah, I know, but if you just put water around the outside, it'll turn it into one big giant lake and turn it into concrete at the same time. Excuse me? What do I need to do to that? Well, that, that's real easy. You just put blocks every second block around the outside and you just put it in two sides and it'll flood this entire thing. Now, I should probably warn you that it will flood the entire thing. The water's not going away. You're going to have to place blocks on top of every block to get oh. rid of the water. <laughs> no, I'll I'll do it the way I'm doing it. Yep. I mean, it would have been fun. But... Yeah, it would have been fun, but no. So. Uh, yep. The only process is just how many... Um, probably... I started at 4,800. I'm f almost 50 blocks in. There's 50 yeah. blocks. So I'm almost halfway done. No. Quarter. All. Quarter way You're done. Quarter of the way done. Yep. So. Four shulkers, quarter of the way. I mean, that's a 16 shulkers of concrete. 
Yep. So I'm not going to bore you folks with all of this tonight. I'm only going to do uh, eight shulkers tonight and uh, call it a night in regards to that. But I'll do the you're rest. Four. What's that? I thought you were doing four. I already did four. I got four more. Oh. So I'll be to eight total. And um, during the week, I'll do the remainder and have the remainder of the tarmac done. So next week, when we come back next Friday, um, you'll be able to see the tarmac completed. And maybe at that point, I will have um, some, what do you want to call it? Um, uh, let's call them footings of the hangar put up that will give us some outline of where the hangar is going to be. Because I still, I still look not sure where the hang. I mean, maybe you guys can help me here. I mean, where do you think we should, um, okay, that's empty that. Where do you think we should have the hangers? Okay. So the airport runways are out there. Should we have the hangers? Okay. From this mountain to there is west to east. Okay. And this is north to south going from Canada place to the runways. That's north, or yeah, north. This is so. Um, which direction do you guys think we should have the hangers? Should the hangers, uh, let me say the hangar opening facing west, facing east, or facing north, facing south? What do you guys think? Let me know. I'm not sure about this music, but um this is the way we have to live in the youtube world in regards to uh dmca so i'm sorry i can't have you know the modern the modern music i think you should be done on a diagonal west to east a diagonal oh a 45 so this way from that corner to that corner? Is that what you're saying, I was Tony? wondering if you were even going to read my name. Yes. No, I'm, I'm completely kidding. I, yeah, you I, are completely that kidding. Cool, that would, it was, no. would, it would look cool, but it would be the hardest build in the building of any uh, structure within Minecraft. Doing anything on a diagonal. I've seen some amazing builders yeah. build on a 45 degree yeah. diagonal. Oh, yeah. And I have to admit that it does look amazing. And at some point, I do suggest that you try it. Not with your first hanger. No, not at all. And yes, I can I can see the comment. So, um... I, I was hoping you just wouldn't notice it was for me. That little, that little um, time that I was not doing that or was not um, sleeping brought three zombies. That's weird. Oh, yeah. One thing you got to talk about at some point is lighting it up so that uh, they don't spawn. <clears throat> well, that's got to be done when the buildings are built and the, you know, the runway lights and, and all that stuff is got to be done. That will happen then. I'm not worrying about it right now because I'm not out here very much in the first place. So um, that's not a, uh, you know, if I was going here and I wasn't sleeping at all, then I could understand that, yeah, okay, I need to have you know, lighting out here. I need my torches and all that stuff, but because I'm not doing it uh, as a, um, how would you say it? In a nighttime, I don't need torches or anything like this. I do it, at, do it during the day. So it's good as it is. Ah, it's just this goes so fast.
I don't let go of my mouse button, it still continues to flow. What the heck? I thought I picked up those uh, XP buttons, the XP balls, but I just didn't. So, you know, you guys see these, if you're watching people on, you know, watching people on YouTube and seeing them build uh, builds. I'm watching one guy right now. Yes, he's Java, but he's still, he's still Minecraft. He's been streaming every day, seven days a week for over 800 days. And he's got this massive, massive build that he's, Accumulate it, and it's really cool. All in the same world. What? Yes, all in, all in the same, same world. world. All in the same world. And if he dies, he starts over. He doesn't go back to that oh, so world. It's a hardcore. Yep, it's a hardcore. Wow. Yep. So, um, John Bams is the name of his you the YouTuber, and or they he's on Twitch, by the way, um, and. Uh, that's uh, what he has done. Seven days a week. Every single day. No days off. He's streaming his hardcore Minecraft. So, it's impressive. Yep, it is impressive. To go that I long. I even play 800 days in a row. It, to go that long and not die. And still be in the same world. Is very impressive. So oh, it's all streams, so it's not like you can fake it. Nope, you can't fake it. So that's like like what I'm doing right now, that's what he would do for a stream. A whole stream. He would set a project, and that's what my project is. I'm gonna, you know, lay uh concrete powder and make it concrete uh for this uh this stream. And that's what Pete he does. So pretty cool. I actually like watching him. He's quite, a, he's quite a character, though. He's uh, he's he's uh, from Rochester, New York, so he's got the uh, got the New Yorker uh, mentality and so forth. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but uh, he really is a character watch. That's for sure. So. That wandering salesman over there hasn't moved. Wonder what he's got to sell. Huh? What do you think he's got to sell? Oh, definitely some mini blocks. He's got heads. Mm, purple. Di he's got purple dice. Purple dice. He's got purple dice. Uh -huh. Pluto. Glass mini block. Amethyst mini block. Wool mini block. Green concrete mini block, mossy cobble stone mini block, jungle saplings. He's got some brown mushrooms, slime balls, and packed ice. Wow, buddy, you got nothing to help me. That's right. So. Back to the laying of the... I wish wish I could, you know, in Java or in Creative, I could just say from this point to that point, fill in concrete. I wouldn't even have to put concrete powder. But because we're doing survival, you got to do it all. There's no easy out here. And I'm, I'm kind of a purist. I say good. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not I don't I, mean, I don't I've have seen a problem. amazing creative builds, but Yeah. It, it feels like cheating. It's, well, I mean if you too easy. you know if you gotta to you gotta go gather your own stuff. Yeah, but if you have to have a build that um you know is fifty, sixty, seventy blocks up in the air and just float yourself up there in creative, there's no challenge to that. Like, oh, if I wanna go up fifty or sixty blocks I got to make scaffolding. I got to figure out how to make scaffolding to get up there or use use blocks to get myself up there, right? It's like 
It's not just flying up and getting it done. So and that's no knocks on anybody who plays. No, 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 by no. any means. No, but it just it takes the challenge out of it. It takes the reward yep. out of it. And this is survival. So as you've seen, when it gets dark, I was being attacked, or I could have been attacked by the mobs, right? And like up here, there's a cave up here. And um, if I went down that cave and I didn't have lights in it, I'd be attacked by, uh, you know, mobs in there. So, I mean, because in, in creative, you can turn all that stuff off. You don't have any of that. But this is the game we're playing. This is Bedrock. So, it's not the Java version. And there is differences and some differences in the, between the, excuse me, between the two, but there's not that many, but there is enough. In recent years, they've done a wonderful job, really, of trying to bring the two in sync and their parity updates and stuff. Yeah. There will always be differences. I mean, there's some purists on the Java oh, side and some absolutely. purists on that side that would never let them become the same game. Right. Absolutely. But if you want Java, go play Java. That's yeah. Fine. You want to play creative? Go play creative. We're not uh, not knocking either one. It's just uh, each each person has their you know maybe that uh, one of their friends will. I probably would have been playing Java if if you know Tony introduced me to this game. If I didn't get introduced to this game by Tony and somebody else introduced me to the game and it was Java. I probably would be a Java a guru and or not guru, but definitely player in 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 Minecraft in Java format. Right? Maybe I would probably be, you know, creative also. Oh wow. I'm out of that stuff already. Okay. Oh, I didn't actually realize it, but did you know that Minecraft has taken over the spot of the most popular video game ever? Best selling video game yep. of all time. Yep. I knew that. Uh, over uh, Grand Theft Auto. I actually thought Tetris was still number one. Nope, it's Grand Theft Auto was the number one. <clears throat> wow, there's really no competition anymore. Nope, there's not. I'm just looking at the numbers. It's 50 million more copies. 50 million. 50 million more, more copies, copies of Minecraft have been sold. Oh wow. Wow, that's a lot of freaking copies of Minecraft. And I mean, the thing that truly is amazing to me is just looking down this list of the top 10, there's a handful that are actually still being played. Yeah, a lot of them are being played. I noticed that in the in the list. Um, well, sorry, I shouldn't say played. Um, obviously, Tetris is still played, but actively developed. Right. Let's go with. Yeah, actively developed. Uh, but there's games that are um, not even being played as a mainstream. There's still, you know, the, what do you call it? The um, the uh, purists that are still playing their games. StarCraft mm -hmm. for being one. That's one of the, one of the top, I think it's at least in the top 10 StarCraft is. Still a lot of people playing that, right? It actually is not. It's not. Oh wow! I understand. I was thinking. Oh man, it's. I. I gotta have to do a search here. You uh, able to sleep? I am not. Doesn't even make the list. My uh, Starcraft doesn't make the list. Doesn't even make the list. And there's probably fifty on this list. Best guess. Okay. The one that really surprises me, PUBG. Remember PUBG? Yep, we used to play PUBG uh, quite a bit. Where do you think it landed on the list? Out of what? Top 50? Yeah. Oh, probably 25? Number five. Number five? Well, I mean, there's Number still five. a lot. There's still a lot of people playing PUBG. PUBG is still oh. quite popular. It's more popular than Super Mario Brothers. Yeah, I mean, that's, I think a lot of Super Mario Brothers are the purest, right? Yeah, but this is of all times. Okay, fine. It's more popular than Red Dead Redemption 2. 
That was a good game. I streamed that one for a long time. Yeah. I liked um, that game, and I never thought I would like that type of game, and I did. I, I'm just... That one actually surprises me, and I mean, good on them. I actually really liked that game. Which one? PUBG. PUBG, PUBG. yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, we played it back in the beta days. Yeah. It was. Yeah, the early I don't even days. Think it was fully released. No, I don't think it was. Yeah. Over and over and over again. Yeah, we did. We didn't pay for that one. It's now pay. You have to pay for it, right? Steam paid game, right? So. Uh, I think we paid like ten bucks or something. Did we? I don't remember paying yeah, anything for, for that. I think I think it was like ten dollars. Oh, okay. Um, I played on X or paid on Xbox. Oh, that's right too. We did Xbox. Xbox. We didn't do PC version, yep. right? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, the, those arena type games, I'm not really a, um, a fan of, to be honest with you, anymore. I mean, we used to do a lot of Battlefield. I mean, geez. Uh, you know, uh, Boje and ourselves were like, how many hours would we play Battlefield? I mean, mm -hmm. it was ridiculous. And when PUBG went, came out, we played that for a bit. Uh, Call of Duty. I was never a fan of Call of Duty. I didn't, you know, the corner campers in Call of Duty just turned me off to the game. I know some of my friends now um, play it religiously. Um, and, uh, okay, Piggy, out of the way. Um, play it religiously and uh, still do to this day. And they love the game, right? But... For me, I've never, never actually liked that game. And I uh, love the graphics. Yes. And I mean, I, I, I think, gotta give kudos to. I think Battlefield lost their edge in regards to their, their, um, FPS, uh, um, stronghold for a long time because they try to compete with Battlefield and the graphics. I mean, uh, Call of Duty and the graphics, and they lost the the grassroots of what made Battlefield its its game itself, and and from that point they went downhill to the way the way they are now, and it's a shame. Yeah, I mean, I would I would go play PUBG again. I think. Yeah, we could maybe when it's you get your uh, fun. maybe when you get your. Uh, real pc made instead of running the 500 series uh graphics card maybe uh we can uh play some pubg so, i mean I, I know you mock me about my existing pc but this is actually in a fantastic machine oh i'm not I, i'm not no i'm not saying oh, it's not years old. There, it's yeah old. it's <laughs> almost 10 years old but i mean you could have put a graphics card in there and it still would have been even that or a more outstanding um machine than it already oh, is well, and it would have been better than 90% of the people's machines. Yep, exactly. Like, it's still an amazing machine. Yep. Even as old as it is. So, I mean, it, it goes to show you, it, oh. it is worth paying to get good components. To begin oh, with. absolutely. And that's why I paid oh. for what I did to get, you know, the Ryzen 7 uh, 5800X. Um, and, uh, you know, went for the uh, AIO and, and 3070 Ti because I wanted... I wanted good components that I don't have to four year down four or five years down the road have to upgrade because it's obsolete. I probably should King said, I mean, get the best you can afford to. Yep, absolutely. I to say that. Like I know a lot of there's a lot of PC envy and stuff out there, but yeah. I mean get whatever you can afford, of yeah. course. It's all about what you can afford. But I mean this is my work machine. I am on this machine. 60 70 80 hours a week probably yeah see i don't have to it's, supply it's my own yeah, yeah i don't have to supply my own personal machine for my work machine i have a laptop for my work machine i probably yeah. could i probably could um uh use the vdi and put it on my personal machine and not use my laptop but um they're trying to go away from vdis at work so it's uh you know, it's just the way it is, so. But Here's actually a game I've never heard of on this list. What's that? 
center area. T R T E R R A R I A. I think I've heard of it. It's I think it's a, a space oriented shooter. Uh, well, I'm judging by the picture. I'm going to say probably not. Okay. Um, it's an action-based adventure sandbox game developed by Relogic. The game was first released for Windows on May 16, 2011, and has since been ported to several other platforms. The game features exploration, crafting, building, painting, and combat in a variety of... And then it cuts out. Huh. Um, Weird. Hmm. Yeah, I mean... Where's does there? I what is this list? The top fifty of games of all time, or uh, top selling or list of best selling video games of all time? Of all time, okay. So my second gaming hobby is probably not even on that list in regards to sim racing. Probably not mm, one probably sim not. racing game Pretty. on the top fifty. I bet. Uh. GTA count? Nope, GTA is not a um, sim racing I know, game. I know. An RP. No, I'm gonna go with no. Okay. Uh, hmm. Weird. Some big surprises in there. I mean, I, I suggest anybody go check it out if you're interested. What's the, uh... It's just a Wikipedia article. Top 50 games of all time. Just list the best-selling video games. The title of the article. 50 best video games of all time, according to critics. No, no, best-selling. Okay, but I'm doing I'm doing the best know. the best video games, and I am again standing out in standing the middle of no nowhere. Nowhere. Let me just uh, go in here. Whoops inside my door and they can't attack me in here because they can't break in the doors all right so um the best 50 best video games of all time according to critics the critics would be like master tony critical i'm not a critic yeah Fifth, number, number 50 world of go Critic score of 94 out of 100. User score is 8.8 .8 out of 10. The plot of World of Go is a physics-based puzzle construction game. The millions of Go balls that live in the beautiful world of Go don't know that they are in a game. Or that they are extremely delicious. Hmm. Metal Gear Solid Five. Phantom Pain. Got a 7.4 from users. I rather look at users than critics. You know how critics are in regards to movies, and we say, oh, no, maybe not. Portal yeah. 2. I've never played that game, and I actually would like to. Um, RTX is definitely um, a big one on this. Pers I know did text. Persona 5 Royal, never heard of it. An RPG. Madden Football. I mean, that's an uh, out, uh, an on-standing... Out, what do you call that? Standing. Outstanding. Not outstanding. Um, it, it's It's been on, you know, once you start like NHL, NFL, NBA... You basically stick with the series if you like that sport specifically. Uh, mm -hmm. The Last of Us. Someone played that. That like a 9.2 out of 10. That was actually a highly rated game. Yeah. That was one of the PlayStation games that I... PlayStation, yeah. It's I not... actually wish yeah. I could play. Yeah, because it's PlayStation only, right? So, yep. Legend of Zelda. Definitely uh, heard of that one. Of course. Yep. Legend of Zelda again, so there's different versions of Legend of Zelda that, uh, you know, were games. Halo. Basically, Halo is the game that got me back into 
gaming after a number of years being away. But only 8.2. Oh, Gran Turismo. One of the racing games I had with, uh, I think I had PlayStation 1 and played Gran Turismo, not 3, but Gran Turismo when I had PlayStation, the original PlayStation, which I should have kept, but, um, you know, threw it away. Red Dead Redemption, I never played that one. I played I Red Dead Redemption. Redemption 2, but not Red Dead Redemption. That's an 8.9. Just on the slight sidetrack there on one of the games you mentioned, The Last of Us. Do you know they have a movie, uh, TV series coming out here? Um, heard something about that, yeah. Do yeah. you know the majority of it is filmed in a place you may know? Uh, up in Alberta. A lot of it in Calgary, actually. Really? Wow. Yep. Another Legend of Zelda. Little Big Planet? Never heard of it. Well, probably why. It's a 6.8 um, user score. 95 critic score. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City. Now, there there's different versions of Grand Theft Auto. I used to stream Grand Theft Auto roleplay, but never played the you know the game itself. I only did roleplay, so I don't know what those games are. San Andreas, that's the roleplaying uh, genre, if you want to call it a Grand Theft Auto that I played, uh, was San Andreas. Boulder Gate 2, never played it. Never heard of it. Hmm. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Gran Turismo. So there's the original one. This is the one I played on the original, um, original PlayStation when I had one of those. Legend of Zelda, like Legend of Zelda would have to say it's got to be the most popular game. It's got like four already that it's mentioned in this top 50. As, as, a, it's, it's as a title, as a title itself, it's definitely um, highly rated, right? I mean, compared to all games. As a series, it probably yeah, is. Yeah, a series. Top. Yeah. Um, Half-Life, never played that one. Hey, there's yep. your racing game. Grand Turismo, that counts, right? Well... That was before I got into what I am into racing now, right? That was like a controller you know, uh, type. Use your, oh, you can only use a controller there? What's that? Can you use your wheel? Grand no, Turismo? Gran Turismo. No, I don't think the original ones. The Gran Turismo that's out now, you can. Yes. This is your favorite game, I would have to say. Elder Scrolls, Skyrim. One of that's, your, one of your, fa oh. one of your favorites. Let's say that. It, it was the one that got me addicted to video games. Mm -hmm. It was by far... I remember losing my saves after I put 150 hours in and being absolutely distraught. Yeah. I'll thank my roommate at the time. He's not on here, so I can make fun of him. But absolutely distraught. It was on a memory card. Yeah. yeah I said a memory card. Yeah. In the old Xbox, game, Xbox days, and he wiped my card to save his game to it. Oh, yeah. I was furious yeah, but like I say that was definitely the one that kind of got me into gaming right right so that's the top um, 30 or the, the the bottom 20 bottom 20 right yeah. so Elder Scrolls is 30th look again number 29 Legend of Zelda so that's now six versions of Legend of Zelda it's got to be the number one series of all games played has to be never Maybe heard of Mario never heard of this well we haven't i haven't hit one super mario yet in the yeah, but bottom 20 but you said 20. well played the series is what i'm saying the host yeah. of fata never heard of it never heard of no, this game i mean so i mean there's many different genres of games right and and like it depends on where you grew up and excuse me um whether you had excuse me this is PlayStation, so I mean that's another thing. I never had a PlayStation, but the first, excuse me, God, the first one. So, Mass Effect, never played that game. Heard of it, but Mass played. Effect Two, but I never heard, never played that game. Uh, Tekken, I guess. Tekken, three, looks like a 
uh, one of the one of the uh, streamers I follow. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, oh, I can't remember his name off the top of my head right now. Um, what is his name? Oh, this is this is sad. This is sad. Ninja Deuce. He plays a lot of these type of games. Um, so if you guys are looking for anyone that plays these types of um, combat type of games, Ninja Deuce um, plays them. And if you're interested in, in uh, joining his streams, uh, don't hesitate to go by and uh, tell him I sent you because he's uh, he does all these type of games. He loves these type of games. Holds tournaments and all that. Uh, he's on Twitch. On Twitch. Ah, okay. Not too many people I can. Uh, I'll say that I can recommend on YouTube because I don't see them on YouTube. Not many people actually stream on YouTube. Uh, there's a few, but the few that do stream on YouTube are the big, the big, Tatman and, um, oh my God, am I losing my brain tonight? Uh, Doctor Lupo and uh dr disrespect those are the big names that are on youtube um what's the biggest guy well what's his name he streams um uh ninja is another one that streams on youtube i think he does or did he go back to twitch because he went to the microsoft one and then they went under and then whatever but so top 25 we got batman uh the orange box never never heard of the orange box uh, resonant like evil a... definitely heard of that one but nope. never played it uh uncharted never played it that's uncharted 2 among thieves never played it uh golden eye one of the original James Bond's games. Yeah, Nintendo 64. That's what I thought. Uh, never played that. One of the few. Yep. Bioshock. Well, there's... there's. Uh, oh, yeah, that's Goldeneye. That's right. There was, I think there was only one, and I think it was Goldeneye. Um, I think they did do a remake. Yeah. I could be wrong. Yeah. I thought they had done a remake. I but... thought so, too. Um, we got Bioshock here. Of number 20. So one second, I'm going to take a little break here. I'll be right back and I got to take my dog outside. Uh, someone's uh, looking to go outside. So just bear with me and we'll continue the top 20 here. One sec.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. I'm back. That's what you got to do when you got animals. They need to go. So, all right. So number twenty, as we left before I, or when I left, well, number twenty was Bioshock. Number nineteen, Half Life. Never played that one. Uh, I'm not even sure what that's about. A lot of these games, I'm not even sure what there's about. Uh, NFL 2K. Never played that one, but it didn't get very good. Probably the lowest on this list, for as high as it is in the in the, the numbers, six point three. To me, that sounds the like critic a critic user. It's a critics, you know, a critics list, right? But the user gave it six point three, but the critics gave it ninety seven. Like. You know, that's yeah, I think as we start to get up the list, I think that's actually yeah. become more and more popular, or right? more, and more common. Exactly, a seven point eight for Elder Ring, but a ninety seven from the uh, critics, a fantasy action RPG. Um, Halo Combat Evolved was number sixteen. So now we're in the top fifty. And here you are, your first Super Mario Odyssey, the Super Mario group, right? Grand Theft Auto 3. Never played it. Classic, but... Yep. Metroid, um, Metroid Prime. Heard so much about it, but I've never played this game. I mean, I've actually kind of pigeon-toed myself into... a pigeon-toed. What's the expression? I, 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 yourself into a genre. I, I put myself into a couple genres. I mean, I jumped out out of out of uh, RPG or RPGs or or FPSs, excuse me, into RP, and then I went from RP into the um, uh, sim racing. So, and uh, I mean, I don't know what what do we call Minecraft? What is Minecraft called? What is it? Honestly, Minecraft. Just Minecraft. It's got its own genre. Perfect Dark. Yeah, it, it really does. Yeah. Perfect Dark, never heard of it. Nintendo, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. Tony Hawk, probably won a, a really popular game. Uh, well, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, but Tony Hawk games herself were very popular. Big fan of them when I was younger. I never played those. Never played them. Um, top 10, Legend of Zelda. And like I keep saying, that probably is the biggest numbered game series on this list of top 50. Yep. Um, Disco. Never heard of it. Grand Theft Auto 5 is number eight. Number seven, Red Dead Redemption. Okay. The, now I'm just going to mention here the critic score gives it 97 the user score gives it 7.7 .7. I thought it was a much better game than that like 7.7 .7 out of 10 or out of 100 out of 10 yeah I mean that that's an 8 that's not that's not there's nothing to be ashamed of yeah no but I, I I would thought the way I thought it was is more close to I mean, there was a, a quite a few uh, uh, glitches within the game and, and so forth. And I played it on PC, and it only says Xbox and PlayStation here, which is maybe they didn't include PC into this selection, a list. It's um, possible. No. Um, the other thing, to, I mean, you're going to have a lot of diehard fans that love the, ver the first version. Yep, exactly. So you're naturally going to get a lower user score. Mm -hmm. Sequels never rate as high as the regular. Yeah, I can, I'll have to. I'll have to do. Uh, let me see here. Control F. Red. Dead. Okay. Yeah. First one was eight point nine, and a lot of people told me that. Um. Uh. What do you want to call it? Uh. So much like uh, that doesn't work. Uh, a lot of what it told me that uh, the first one was actually really good. 
that in some ways I should have went and played that first before um, before I even played the second one. But so, all right. So number seven, Red Dead Redemption. Um, number six, another Super Mario. So that's now two Super Marios in top ten. Commander says, probably because of the online play, getting no love. Getting no love for what, Commander? Getting no love for the online play of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2? So, number six, Super Mario Gla Galaxy 2. Uh... Number five, ooh. So we were saying Zelda had the most enter Okay, Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, Legend of Zelda had the most entries in the top 50, but Super Mario... All skewed to the top. Uh, it already in the top 10 has three? No. Yeah. No, two. Because Legend of Zelda was top uh, number 10. But we have number 6, Galaxy, and number 5, Super Mario. Red... I think there was another one, like in the top 20. There was Yeah, yeah. So Commander says Red Dead Redemption is technically a prequel to the original. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Didn't know that it was a pre... So... I played through Red Dead Redemption 2. Should Commander, should I go play Red Dead Redemption 1? Would that be a suggestion? Because I played 2. I mean, I didn't... Uh, uh, what do you want to call it? Beat it, but I definitely finished it. So number 4 is Soul Calibur. I guess this is a... A fighting action game, I guess? Number four. Number three, Grand Theft Auto 4. Number two, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Okay. Don't, oh, Commander, don't tell me that. Now I have to go play that game now? I don't have any time for that. <laughs> what do you think number one is? The Commander and Tony, what do you think number one is? For the number one top 50 games put together by critics. What do you think the number one game is before I scroll down to that or scroll up? What do we do? Scroll down? Scroll up? Going down. Going down. Um, I mean, my heart's got to tell me it's Minecraft, but it probably isn't. But I'm disappointed if Minecraft doesn't appear in the yeah. top 50. So, so, Commander, what do you think the number one game of all time by critics would be. I kind of wanted to say some Borderlands. Interesting. That's good, yeah, that's a good Interesting. All right, so here we go. The number one game of all time uh, no, sorry, the number one game of the top 50 games of all times by critics is Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda. They gave it a 99 out of 100 from a critic and a 9.2 for users where Tony Hawk was a 98. Wow. So the critics don't even have Minecraft? or any Borderlands game in the top 50. Yeah, and this is why I don't believe critics. <laughs> Commander, yeah. So, okay, so you said the top, okay, um, top 50 games of all time by users. Let me see. Okay, that user rating or something user rating oh. 
All right. I mean, they could, it, the, you know, it, it's all subjective. It's all subjective to the actual website, right? I mean, ING, I guess, would be a good one to go with. It's absolutely subjective, but this is what makes it so fun. Yep. I'm disappointed that Minecraft didn't appear, at least in the top 50. Well, in the top 50 of video games of all time from uh, IGN is Legend of Zelda is number one. They don't even, they don't even make you wait. Yeah, Witcher. Witcher. That is one game I'm surprised that wasn't in the other one. I like that game. I just never finished it. Doom is another one. I mean, they got some God of War. It hasn't even been out long enough to be even considered. God of War is, I think, the original one is pretty old. No, Mass, pretty Mass Effect Commander was in somewhere in the uh, a 25 to 50 range, I think, if I remember correctly in that other list. Mass Effect was there. There's Minecraft, number 21. Out of, you know, ING's list. Original, no, it's Combat Evolved. See this? I mean, I kind of World of War. Thing. World of Warcraft wasn't even in the other one. Diablo wasn't even in the other one. Pokemon. Like, I mean, there's some big titles that weren't in the other I list. I don't believe critics. I, I really don't. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, how are you the best-selling video game and you don't make the top 50? Yeah. Oh, you came in at about 15? Okay, Commander. Yeah, I understand. Top 50 games. What did you have, Tony? Top 50 games? I was uh, looking at the best-selling games. Okay. The games that have basically Best made the most selling games of all time. Okay, it's a Wikipedia. Okay, let's yep. you you did Wikipedia. Let's go with IGN just to change the list up. And ten. They only did top ten. Ten best selling video games of all time. Okay. Number 10 is Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2 for 46 million. Not surprised. So the reason I like this list, and I mean, yeah, I know you got to buy multiple versions and stuff, but it's not subjective. Yep. So number nine, Pokemon Gen 1, 47 million. Wow. Super Mario Brothers, 48 million. Overwatch, 50 million. Do you guys ever play Overwatch? Commander, do you ever play Overwatch? And, and Master Tony, just to let you know, Commander is probably the most... Uh, um, uh, visited visited uh um subscriber of mine that's come into my streams and i really appreciate commander for coming in yeah uh, you were here last time yep um, yep he's pretty much here every stream and i thank you commander very much thank you buddy uh merit cart 8 56.8 million dollars so we're winning minus of 56.9 pub g Wow, seventy-five million dollars. That, that one still surprises me. While, it really does. Yeah, it surprises me. While free downloads don't count towards its sales total, it's worth nothing. PUBG mode. Uh, it's worth no noting. Excuse me, not nothing. Noting PUBG Mobile has been downloaded over a billion times. You uninstalled Overwatch the other day? My daughter plays Overwatch when she was on her PC, but I've never, you know, I'm not, I guess you call it an FPS, but I don't like the uh, the cartoon FPS, to be honest with you. Uh, no problem, Commander. I really appreciate your support. 
I really do, buddy. You watch my racing, you watch my trucking, you watch my Minecraft. It, whenever I'm streaming, you're you're normally here or lurking. Uh, that is awesome. I really appreciate that. Uh, number four, We Sports. We Sports. Yeah, I mean, that's a given. Eighty-two million. Grand Theft Auto Five. A hundred and seventy plus million. Wow. GT5 was the fastest, enter, the, the fastest entertainment release across all mediums to reach $1 billion. And it's since earned Rockstar and two, take two billion more. Wow. I know you do, Commander. If you're not here, you're in some manner around somewheres. So I really appreciate that. Minecraft is number two at 238 million sold copies as of April 2021 company notes uh, that figures capture sales totals across its 22 available platforms <clears throat> and with film Netflix education what Netflix what are they what are they on Netflix they're on Netflix Minecraft yeah yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because, like I say, there is an entire education edition. Okay. Well, no, they're separating education itself. So, and with film, comma, Netflix, comma, education, comma, toys, and many other products, it, it projects either completed or in the works, my, my, uh, Minecraft has transcended the median in a way few others have before. So, number one is Tetris. And see, that's why I thought number one was Tetris too. But how much did they say Tetris has made? 520 million. Basically doubled, no, even more than doubled, Minecraft. In the article that I was reading said that they had only sold 170 so, million. So arguably the most timeless video game ever created, Tetris sits comfortably atop the list of all-time bestsellers with 520 million copy sold sold according to the tetris company that number includes sales across all available platforms with majority coming from mobile uh hank rogers the tetris company manager director said tetris has 425 million dollars paid mobile downloads as of 2014. wow I mean, really good on them. Yep, really good on them. So the other list was your Wikipedia one that you stated. That's yeah. Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft was on the top, right? Then Grand Theft Auto, and then yeah. So the sales. When was this updated? This Wikipedia then. What does it tell oh, you at the bottom? A... Oh, it was uh, the page was last up edited on January third. But you got to remember that these Wikipedias are. Um, you know, subjective because they're open world or open sourced, right? Compared to these other Yeah, but there's normally that... sources cited. Yeah. And in this case, they actually do cite sources. Reference, yeah. Um, the other article, though, was from April 2021, so it's almost a year old. Yeah. But the numbers are still consistent. I mean, But, I mean, the numbers are consistent with the sales in the previous one we just did of 238 yeah. million for Minecraft. But Tetris nowhere near 430 or 420 million that they're missing. Maybe they're combining different versions here. I don't know. No idea. So, all right. On that note, that's uh, enough of the intermission from the, uh, the job at hand. So, uh, Commander, what we're doing tonight, and it looks like I'm going to be finishing tonight instead of building um, some... Uh, as it is already 11, so um, building some uh, guard houses. Maybe I'll have to build my guard houses uh, next week or over the... What the heck? He's still there? Um, where is my... There it is. Um, want to fix these boxes and water this up to get this done. But uh, we're trying to build the tarmac tonight. And getting the tarmac filled in, Commander. And uh, 
having that uh, partly done. But uh, it's taken a bit, and I'm going to have to make uh, definitely make some more um, uh, concrete powder to actually fill this off. Fill this up. So did you play any RP tonight, uh, Commander? Or what were you uh, doing for excitement tonight, buddy? Oh, yeah. That was a uh, good tangent off the actual topic of Minecraft tonight, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's nice to have a bit of conversation. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Ben said he wasn't going to be able to make it tonight because he had a uh, IRL event to deal with. So I said, oh, no worries, no worries. So what is this now? Are the... This is not... The other guy disappeared and this guy shows up. Same thing. Ambone's head? I could get for one... I get for... Oh, I get Ambone's head. Worth it. <laughs> uh, it doesn't even look like Hambone. He looks like the. Uh, huh? uh, I was on my black market dealer. Did a huge transaction of 33 million. What's your black market yeah. dealer? Is that on your um, RP? There's TFC's head. Who's TFC? I don't think he plays here huh? anymore. Okay. Furnace okay. Golem. Bruce stool, snail, magma, emerald. These mini blocks. Why is he like selling all these damn mini blocks? I don't want mini blocks. Poppy. Okay, that's RP. Okay. A bucket of puffer fist. Like, I really need that for five emeralds? Jeez, buddy, you are. Actually helpful. Huh? You can actually build a lot of Minecraft contraptions with that. With puffer fish? Yep, because they detect you as you walk closer. Oh. So there's actually some benefit to that, and they're they suck to go and get by hand. Okay. So were you on? Uh, were you playing with uh, cheesy tonight, Commander? All right, so let's see how much we can get on here out. And then water this up and get it solid. And then maybe I'll call it a night in regards to that. I'll be on tomorrow for for a bit. I got to do some practice and stuff for Tuesday and Wednesday. And uh, I don't know how much you'll be on tomorrow and stuff, but... Maybe you'll have your new P your uh, new PC up and running tomorrow. Maybe did you get all the uh, required parts that you need to uh, complete it? Till I find the next one that I'm missing, yeah. Oh, till you find the next one you're missing. Okay. But I thought I had the all the required parts like six times now. To be honest. Oh, you were in Free but City. It, okay, I got gotcha. you. Like. Go to mount the water block onto the GPU and find out that I'm missing some thermal strips. Yeah, you were mentioning. So, so all right, well, it's back to Amazon we go. Um, okay. Took my other one apart and realized that I probably want a drain valve in this one. Yeah, so did definitely. Go. Yeah, you you've watched Jay's two cents enough to know that that's the first thing he suggests: make a drain plug, right? Yep. So. Yeah, no, I know this now, but. When I had ordered all these parts, I wasn't really watching. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I've got a AIO. I'm not sure I really need one for my graphics card. You know, it's me. It's, it's the noise. Yeah. See, the thing is that what I get the noise from is from the 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 case fans. Yeah, but like on my other PC, when it was in this big case with my water cooling, 
I never heard the fans. The fans never came on. Period. Oh, really? Um, when I was taking it apart, I had actually forgotten. I actually disconnected the two case fans. All I had was my radiator fan. That's it. Really? Really. Hmm. And, I mean, you, you saw my numbers. It was like 20, <laughs> 30. Like yeah, it was... way, way, and... way less than what I ever had. So, I didn't even have my so stupid have. water port system set up properly. Right. That was my bad, but it's what it is. You just had a moment there with your uh, mic or your, yeah, your uh, headset. What? It just went robotic there for a second, and then you cleared up. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Everybody. No, 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 no. It wasn't loud or anything. It just, just happened, right? So, so, uh, Commander, is the uh, music too loud? If you are actually listening to the, the stream, now, you're listening to the stream because you're answering me. The, but is the music too loud or is it fine? Because I turned it up a little bit because I wasn't really able to hear it as well. But I want to make sure it's if it's too loud, I can drop down the. Uh, Volume. That's cool. I don't have to worry about that. The part that makes me nervous about this is how do I know that this is properly seated? What's properly it's seated? The water block on my GPU. I guess I'll turn. Well, it on no, your water, your water block on your GPU is is going to be um, it's sealed. It's just touching. No, seated. seated on the GPU itself. It's what? Seated. Like, because it's basically like a CPU heatsink. Because yeah. I took the fans and stuff apart that were on there and I put the water block on. Okay. And I'm just a little nervous that it's not properly cooling all the components and that everything isn't actually hooked up. But I guess I just turn it on and see what happens. Yep. Probably. That's what you got to do. Okay. Oh, God. And then I run out of freaking stuff again. So, yeah, I think I'm working to have. Well, I'm going to have to go and thank you, the grub. Um, I'm going to have to probably go and do another gravel run, I think. And I did another sand run. I just oh. ran out of gravel. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I ran out of gravel, but because I'm on at 37, I still have easily another. What do you want to call it? Another. I started, well, 4,700 will be um, 100 blocks across, right? Let me, let me bring up that, let me bring up that picture. Gaming stuff, Minecraft, coordinate. All right. So this is the coordinates that we have and I'm doing the tarmac. We're going from 4,800 to 4,580. That's not 200. No, not 4,800. Oh, I don't have the coordinates between the runway or it's 200 blocks. So 4,580. 4,580. 200 blocks. Jesus, I can't even count. What did I, I was hearing, sorry, I was hearing, um, I was hearing spiders and I thought they were underneath me. All right, so 4580, 200 blocks is 4780, but I think I was at 4800. Yeah, yeah 4800. You you're like 25 or something extra. So you may have actually put in 30 blocks that you're just gonna have to rip out again. Okay. 
Here's the concrete. 4,800. Forty-five ninety. I didn't do it in my drawing. Oh, I didn't do it in my drawing. Okay. Forty-five ninety. So that's two hundred and that's more than two hundred blocks, right? Yeah. All right. It's okay. I mean, some of that will become road and stuff too. Well, so. yeah. I mean, there's gonna be road down here at the base, right? Could be road down there. This is not gonna no harm in using it as an easy way to convert concrete to. To what? Oh, you're probably gonna need to pull out some of that road to put in parking lots and yeah, buildings. Yeah, exactly. Well, they'll be on. The, well, they'll be on top. Everything's gonna be on top of this, so it's got to be concrete anyways. But I'll put dirt in its place, so when it, if I'm building anything over top of it, type thing. Like a parking lot, you probably want to do with a pavement kind of color as opposed to the tarmac color, just to differentiate some maybe yep. dark yep. gray or something. Yeah, dark gray to be more like a um, a newly um, what do you want to call it a newly, newly paved finished section. paved section. Yeah. Oh yep. shit. Okay. You YouTube's gonna demonetize me for that. Excessive. You can you can say it once. Yeah, I guess. They have to monetize you before they can demonetize you. Yeah, exactly. I need to be a thousand subscribers before I can actually. Uh, um, that surprises me that it's more. actually that high. Yeah. It is. Um, where is that? Um, YouTube Studio. Oh, it's fine, man. I'm gonna concentrate on your. No, no. I'm just, um, where is that? Burn. Yep. A thousand subscribers required. How do I join the earn? I guess uh, become a partner, I guess what they call partners. Um, you have to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 Oh, now they added more. 4,000 um, uh, uh, 4, hours of watch time, public watch time. And now, oh, that's for part. That's for part. I don't know where, the, where do they say? Where do they say? Huh. Um, I'll have to find out, but I, I thought it was a, it was a, um, a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of, um, 4,000 hours of, um, watch time, watch time. right? So there's that's not bad. I mean, every one, subscriber watches one stream. You're good. No, it has nothing to do with it. it has to do with the videos. And now it. Yeah. Now they got shorts in there, and I don't know if you have to do shorts to be able to get that, um, that uh, value or not. Now, so. Well, your your watch time, I think. You, what your stream doesn't count towards watch time. I don't know. To be honest with you, it's been it increasing. It's been increasing. Looks like it, but I don't know. I'll have to find the actual. Uh, um, what do you call it? The requirements, so forth. So, yeah, it is what it is. They pay you when they want to pay you. No, they pay you once you meet those requirements, and then that's it, right? Yeah, but and and to be very honest with you, the amount of the amount that I'm gonna get from it, like I did Twitch, like ninety some buck. It's more. It's cost us more in doing uh, taxes, and it did benefit even getting that much money. So, Fair enough. I mean, unless I become a you know. A YouTube superstar, um, it's not really worth that. It'd be nice to have, you know, those followers and so forth, those subscribers. 
And if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I'm just doing this because I enjoy showing everybody my enjoyment for games. So, but. Mm -hmm. And to help that out, folks, don't forget to hit those like buttons. Thank you and subscribe so I can get uh, more people to see what, what I'm doing here. And even not, not what I'm doing tonight, but what I'm going to be doing. So don't forget to hit that like button. The, the people that are here on the stream and those people that are going to be viewing afterwards. Appreciate you all. Okay, and I'll hit the like button. It's only like the ninth time you've said it. No, it's not. The third. Maybe the but third, yeah. I don't... I feel I, guilty. <laughs> so he goes and does it. Yeah. But, um... I, uh... I don't... You know, don't make that a point. Someone, I think I... I don't know where it was. I'm going to have to go back and watch this. But someone made a comment on one of my... I think it was my shorts or whatever one of the shorts that I made a long time ago and they said well and he made a comment and he said well I don't think um, I don't think I'm gonna do this or do that because the first thing you say is don't forget to subscribe and man like there's no way I would start a video out by saying that so I don't know where that one came from oh that um, your old intro used to have that Oh, with did the it? like and subscribe on it, yeah. Oh, did it? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, because you're basically saying, like, hey, come like and subscribe. You know what? I, I get it. Like, if I was watching a new short or streamer, I've And the first thing you said, before. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. that makes no, sense. No, I, mean, I know, I understand, but I never thought I did something like that. I guess I did. I think it was in your intro. I don't think it was ever intentional. Yeah. No, it's never intentional, because I don't... I don't expect anyone to do that. They don't want to. That's up to them. Appreciate it. It's up to you guys. So, so what games are you playing now, Commander? Other than RP, is that the only one you're playing, or are you playing anything else? It'll get dark again. Here we go. I want to push these damn freaking dandelions. They don't push them forward. They push them to the side. Damn things again. How uh, many? Oh, I'll be back here again, probably. All right. I'll cut one out at a time. Because who knows? I'm going to keep coming back this direction. I will. But... Wow, this is a lot, man. I'm telling you. Hey? Okay. Dabbing again in ATS since it's, I have all available states now. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, the other night it was crashing for me. I didn't even get to go up to the gas station near my, uh, my, um, Near my, uh, what? Oh, jeez. He just did it. Um, near my headquarters. And uh, it kept crashing on me. So I don't know if it's the mods that I have or, or what. But I need to check it out because it's a good game. I just need to. It's probably going to be a game that I'll be uh, just playing just to relax and not really do anything in regards to Minecraft or, or, or my sim racing. Um, you know, I don't, I, I'm trying not to burn myself out this time with Minecraft or with, uh, my sim racing that I did last year. I mean, I think I was, if Tony recalls, I think I was doing easily seven days a week, practicing racing and all that stuff. And it just, why I come back to doing some streaming on, on Minecraft and maybe, you know, Saturdays once in a while, I'll send out a, a surprise stream but um i don't want to burn myself out in sim racing i like it and i mean to be very honest with you that uh, rig to my right there is is not ch a cheap hobby for sure 
I was having trouble updating for it for a few days, but it finally did. Okay. I never had a problem updating it and I'm loading it, but I do notice that, um, uh, I was using the Easton, uh, shifter 18, uh, speed and, uh, that's no longer working now. I have to use the, um, uh, splitter one it, it i can't remember which one it's called uh the reader or something like that splitter uh to get my proper gearing for 18 speed but it's not properly used in the east and eaten um shifter uh, stuff i tried to remap them and everything and it still didn't work but oh well Got aggravated with a the ACC the other day. I uninstalled too. What did you get aggravated about? ACC is not an easy game. I'll tell you that right now. It, it at times like when we finished when I finished the the season that we just did before Christmas I didn't even pick or touch my my uh, sim rig for probably easily two and a half to three weeks I didn't even touch it the steering mostly what's wrong with your steering is it the way it's set up or or what what do you got? What do you got for a um, steering and, and pedal? Um, or are you using a a uh, gamer pad? People are actually using a gamer pad, Tony, and they're better drivers than me. Now, is that a knock on you or a compliment to them? Compliment to them. <laughs> oh wow! Is that all the? Is that it? For all the, um, nope. All right, here's the last bit of the um, stone. You got a controller, okay. I can understand why you would have um, frustration. That would be really hard to do that game with controller. Hard enough to do it as with what I have, with this, you know, a direct drive and and um, pedals and so forth. It's hard to do it with that. Add a controller onto it. My Jesus. I I applaud you, bud, for trying to do that. That's tough. All right, chicken. Stop laying your stupid eggs. Why do these guys actually get in the way when I'm fucking doing stuff? Well, I've always thought of it like a cat. You are a cat. They're always in the way. And they just want attention. True. But True. they're always in the way. <laughs> like... Oh, yeah, I think, I think Commander is just a controller, buddy. It, it's nothing against you. Uh, I've seen people that were were doing the races either in ACC or iRacing, and you could tell who was running a controller uh, or who was running a you know a rig with a steering wheel. I mean, if it was Logitech or Thrustmaster or any other direct drives, um, no knock against you, and it sh you shouldn't be frustrated. It's just the way the controller it. The game's not designed for controller. Let's say that. It's designed for precision. Uh, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Precision uh, movements, not not controller movements, which that are that are would be a jerky like you're talking about. All right. Well, I get back with two stacks. I think I might get over with two stacks, but not back.
Yeah, I was like... Well, no, I, I had to say my cat is not like that. My cat is not at all a, you know, need to be in your lap type cat at all. You go near my cat and it scoots. It's gone sometimes. So, I just don't understand these freaking llamas or whatever they're called and chickens. Oh, I mean, and... it always, I'm not, I mean, I'm not, not really talking about them sitting in your lap, right? It's more of a, I just find our cat always under my feet. Nope. She, she doesn't, she hates my lap. Yeah. Um, and I'm sure if I invited her on, she would, but it's just, she's always kind of there. <laughs> oh, really? Look at this. I am one block short of finishing this damn side. One block. And I don't it's have It's funny. Any. As you say that, watching your stream, you still have over a stack left. Where? You're on 19 blocks right now left. Seven, five, one. There you go. And now finally I finally one block short. One block short, right? One block short. All right. So now. You know what I'm going to do? I have to fill this in. I can't leave one block. So I put this hand back personally. <laughs> nope. I got downstairs. Remember that one thinking yep. those two blocks that I were in my way? Mm -hmm. I'm going to get one of them. Because <laughs> I can't. My OCD would not let me finish that. And leave one block if I'm going to do that. Um, like that. So I'm going downstairs. And getting one stinking piece of um, concrete powder to put in. All right. So where? Okay. So now we'll just put these suckers down here. And it won't let me put it there, so I gotta put that. So where is the sand? There's the sand. And the sand is over here. So I've got five full shulkers of sand. I'm gonna probably have some of that stuff there. And where's my gravels here? So I've got one. Okay. Yeah, I've got okay, I got enough. Well. I don't have enough, but I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight um Felkers full of sand uh gravel to uh oh, Yeah, that's up there. Yep. So there's my two pieces. Here's my one. One piece of powder. We, my, my plan wasn't to stay on this tonight, but we got off in our little, uh, discussion That's about the top, top 50, and, um, that took a little time away, but I think this is a pretty good, a pretty good amount done tonight. Uh, how many we do? So, 4726... Need you all you math people out there. 4726 to 4800. Um, calculator. I invented calculators. All right. So we have 4726 minus 4800 equals 74. Remember that number, 74. Put it in the chat. 74 and we are at 400 and we go to six hundred so that's two hundred blocks two hundred times seventy what was the number I didn't see it in the chat seventy four Nope. 74. 
All right. Okay. So calculator. All right. Uh, four, 200 times 74. We put 14,800 blocks of, um, powder in tonight. Concrete powder. 14 thousand all right let's get rid of this and only three hundred thousand left to go where is he gotcha you uh, stinking bugger all right now how are we gonna do this so There goes all my torches. Uh, that's not gonna work. This needs to be fences anyways, but. All right. Stinking buggers. If I get past these torches, I'll be fine. That's a lot of blocks, right? 14,000? A couple. <laughs> 14,000 blocks. I like how this is spreading out though. This is good. But it's like, okay, where's my centerpiece? Yeah, that we need to then start doing the old. Uh, didn't get close enough to the wall. Yeah, I mean, there's, if you go eight blocks out, you have to put it every block. If you go seven blocks out, you have to put it every six blocks. There, there's the formula for this to do it efficiently. Yeah. If it was me, I'd probably just build a flying machine. You would do everything other than what I'm doing, but that's beside the point. Oh, yeah. This is what I don't want to do is miss these spots, right? I guess the best bet would be to do it this way. Then I never miss the wall. And I get everything out in that direction. See what John did, John Bams, on his his uh, concrete emission. He had a um, some sort of mechanism he had down in his thing that he then took the blocks in his left hand, put them in the spot, and picked them up with his broken with his right hand. Be able to Java. pick it up, and the flow of water pushed it back into him when he broke it. Right. Yeah, yeah. So. It's a Java thing. Is it? You can't do that for... No, so we have the left-hand placements where your totem is right now, but you can't actually use it. Oh, 
So it's a, so the left what, hand thing is a Java specific. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's basically your leftmost button and your rightmost button power your left hand and your right hand. Right. According, right? If you have if you're double fisting like that. Oh shit, this might not work here. This is only going this way. But what I need to do, I need to have Oh, this is such a suck. Yep, this is gonna suck. Can I do it there? No. Why do some of them like that one? Okay. Some of them only go straight, and some of them. Oh, that has to do with you being a certain distance away from the edge. Yeah. So water will always travel. Um, it always takes the shortest road to going down. So if you're going to do stuff like that, like go close to the edge, you have to make sure that you're at least eight blocks away from it, because otherwise it's just going to be a single path all the time. So if you're, I believe it's eight blocks away, it'll actually still go in every direction. Oh, okay. And I'm ruining all the foliage on the edge but that's okay yeah i mean you're gonna have to terraform that anyways but yeah it's got to be built all up to be yeah jesus doesn't go over there. <laughs> wow. Wow, that's that's hilarious. Oh. here goes everywhere yay they got the first strip of about 50 done what's that you got the first strip of about 50 done yeah I'll probably uh, you know go down tomorrow and and basically uh make some more powder oh shit i missed one shit see it's blue in the bucket but when you lay it down it's not blue all right It'd be really hard to use if it was clear in the bucket though but what I'm saying is, is like, why isn't it just blue all the time? People want clear water. Yeah, I guess, right?
better when the sun's not shining, that's for sure. Because I can actually see the, uh, the, uh, dominant block, if you want to call it that. why I go over top of the block that's already been done, but... Most efficient way. And if you keep up that pattern, it definitely helps you out in the next row. start down here and get it going so, welcome everyone to the stream hope you're having a good day everything is peachy keen all is well glad you can join in i'm just finishing doing a little bit of construction here on the tarmac um Trying to get this all oops, all done in regards to uh, getting it ready for future builds here on the tarmac. I'm hoping uh, to get this all. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I should have. Hopefully, get this all done this weekend. I'll be doing some stuff after, uh, uh, you know, off stream to. Um, get it ready for next week's stream next week's stream we will uh possibly be able to um start doing some building of hangers stuff so hopefully it uh, will come around and i get this uh all caught up and uh get some builds going instead of the you know this I mean, this is just part of the Minecraft process that you gotta, you gotta prep to build, just like anything. You gotta build a house, you gotta have a foundation, so. I mean, normally your foundation's not 300,000 bricks of concrete, but. Yeah, I know. But most people don't make runways. Most people don't make airports. Fair enough. So, I have gone and... Overdid myself. No, I actually think this is perfectly achievable for you. Oh, it's I know it's achievable. I'm not saying it's not achievable, but it's just like why did I go and you know pick the yeah. biggest possible thing to do. Why did it do that there? There's what? Here. Just make it that way. Alright. Go down this side, I guess. Do it like an old farm process. And I missed stuff. Oh, gotta be that one. Yep. And I gotta come back one. Go. If I go to this one, does it miss that one? Yeah, it does. So I gotta go on the one. I already did. Okay. Be able to get that one there, yep. Alright. I 
I should have, what I should have done is I should have made a barrier all the way around it and just gone and just filled it all up. But it is what it is. Oh, now you know better for next time. Yeah, I think, I don't know if I should, when I do the runway, if I should go around and put a, a layer, a high layer, but it doesn't, no, it doesn't matter because the water is going to go because I'm not going to put any, um, I'm not going to put any torches down until, um, until I, uh, get it all done, so. There we go. All right. Now, what did you say? It's eight blocks from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So let's do seven to make sure I get them all. And I don't. So let's do this one. Why do you have to be that? Huh? Why do you got to be that? There we go. Hate the fact that I got to look back. That one's not going to make it. Nope, didn't. I missed the missed the spot. At least I can see whether or not I hit the tarmac and made the concrete go, because it'll be white anyways. Kids or wife and the, the daughter is uh, in uh, California at Disney World this or Disneyland this weekend. Hopefully it doesn't rain as expected. California's getting really nailed with it, yeah. rain, so hopefully they uh, will have a good time. Not sure. Might be difficult for them. Hopefully not. A little bit jealous, not gonna lie. Never been. Always wanted to go. I've been to both of them. Land and world. Never been that far. Yep. Uh, I've been to Orlando and I've been to California. Pasadena, California, where uh, Disneyland is. Disney World has got the Epcot Center and all that jazz down there, so. That was pretty cool, I'll tell you that. Uh, it's a long day. You can't do it in a day, to be very honest with you. Yeah, it really seems like the kind of thing you gotta book a week. Oh but... no, you can do it in two, you can do it in two days. I mean, I think we did it in a day. I can't remember what how long it took us. Um, yeah, but how enjoyable is it on hour eight? Like, it's not. It's not. And to be able yeah. to get onto rides and stuff that are part of that, it's difficult. That's right. exactly my point. That'd be something for you guys for a uh, you know a winter winter holiday once once the daughter gets bigger. Because Disney will. I'm actually hoping to take uh, the entire family. She's got um, my wife 
has some siblings that have kids this year too. Yeah. So we want to bring them all down in a couple of years, of course. Yep. Yep. Don't bring them too young because we uh, we brought ours too young, and now that's why they're going again. Uh, because I mean, I mean she, the age she is now is is good, but probably I'd say five years younger would have been better. So, yeah, our thoughts are around six yeah. or seven. Probably. Yeah, or ten range would be good. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably basically see how the rest of our families have kids because you don't want to get into a scenario where if somebody has a kid three years from now they can't go oh. right so you want to make sure you have a decent spread of ages yeah i guess i don't know i'd have to see what wife says in regards to her going back and whether or not it's uh as enjoyable for her i mean yeah. the second time around so I think that's the second time, or maybe she's been there three times. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. You watch. I get over here and somebody's already going to sleep. Because you're not carrying a bed with you. No, I just left it there. going into the sun. Oh. Well, folks, this is what I'm going to try to get done tonight. And uh, I apologize. Didn't get to the uh, guard shacks, but I'll build one probably off stream this this um, this week or next week. And uh, Get the other one probably next week on the stream or whatever. It's gonna be a simple build. It's not not anything elaborate by any means. Um, but I'm planning on putting one down there and putting the other one over here by that pole because um, that's uh, eventually that's gonna be the uh, road into the tarmac, um, the uh, airport transportation. So there's going to be buildings that are going to be office buildings and so forth. That'll be there'll be a road going across down into Canada Place, and probably a road that will go up this way around the mountain, and uh, go around the airport that way and come back and go there. So, um, some some details about roads and so forth that uh, you have around the airport that connects into the main one and so forth. So. Um, We'll uh, we'll design that, get that going, and make it look good. So, a lot to do: buildings and roads, and design of the roads, and how they actually go, and where they go, and uh, it's big project, folks. Big project. Yeah, but if it was a small one, you all would get bored. No, it's not the board thing. It's like whether or not I lose interest. That's the thing I'm concerned about. I'm actually hoping the opposite. I'm hoping that it's a big enough project you don't lose interest because there it is nicely diverse enough. Yeah, I know, right? diverse enough all right i got buildings i mean i got this the tarmac i gotta do learn how to do terraforming um 
you know, um, terraforming. I'm going to be building vehicles. I'm going to try to, you know, try to build people, which, excuse me, should be interesting. In itself. Yeah, it's not going to be as easy as I thought it was in this. I was really hoping you could put heads on armor stands. Yeah, so I, um, I was also... You got the talking to them though. You can position heads using different dies with the packs that we have. Yeah, I have yet to actually try this to be honest, but potentially you can do something there. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But uh, because I would like to actually on this tarmac to have uh, um, a um. Kind of what you want to call a parade of uh of soldiers so like they're marching across the uh tarmac but we'll see how that goes on it'd be nice to have that but something that uh somebody did Realistic, though. animation like. wise but i haven't you know physically had anyone standing in a in a in, in a ranks uh to make it look that way so we'll see is, is that actually realistic like would you actually march across the tarmac yep you'd think you'd stay away from it because of the fact that you have planes coming in well no not not in those areas there but over here you would you know possibly have you know because it could this could be a military uh training base too right so yes yeah, yeah I would, i'd probably build your military training base stuff off to the side on the other side this right is more but they the may have some people to all right, look at that. There we go. Oh, I missed one. Look at that. How did I miss That's that? Good. All right. So, folks, there we go. I'm going to go right to the moon, right to the sun. All right. So, there we are. We have one quarter, I guess, maybe almost one half of the tarmac put together with the concrete. So that will conclude tonight's stream. Um, we will be back next Friday again at eight o'clock uh, Arizona time, minus seven Green, uh, Greenwich Beach time. And uh, we'll hopefully at that time uh, be working. Maybe I'll leave this one we can actually build this together build the uh, uh guard shack and we'll start some fencing which needs to go all around so all this fencing goes around and then we're going to have some uh, uh razor wire goes on top um, maybe a little bit of terraforming uh we'll see maybe the terraforming will done during the week got to make more some more concrete powder so we can actually finish this tarmac and the runway I'll probably do the runway. I won't bore you guys with the runway on stream. We'll make we'll make uh, that sort of task, which tonight shouldn't have been that, but it ended up being that. So, I mean, I want you guys to see the process of building this whole Air Force Base and Canada Place in the headquarters here uh, as a build, not just, oh, we got Canada Place build off stream oh okay cool no i want you guys to see what it takes to build this stuff so um on that note we will talk to you guys next week and um you all have a great week enjoy the long weekend if you are able to uh have that and um yeah this is old canadian gamer thank you master tony Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Signing off, everyone. Have a good night. Bye.